Are you recording this? Go. Hey, good evening, everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, uh, yeah, we supposed to be doing this live stream on Sunday, but what happened on Sunday night? It was football. I want everybody to spend time with their friends and their families uh, doing football. Believe me, uh, if I if, if I just I don't know because I didn't do it, but my gut feeling is that if I was to do a live stream, people would come on and watch and hang out here instead of spending time with their friends and family. So I, I didn't want to do that. I don't want to compete in that because I value relationship more than anything else out there, more than life, more than anything. So uh, it's just, it's that's why I just want that, all my, uh, um, all my friends, especially friends and family who hang out on YouTube and Discord, want to know how to make money and want to get rich and all that stuff, I want them to spend time on, on the Super Bowl. Okay, so anyway, since we didn't do live streaming on Sunday, uh, I figured today is a good start, uh, uh, a good segment, you know, good jump point for this week. And we can talk about all kinds of stuff. Okay. So I'm glad everyone's here. Um, you know, for those who've been with me since the very, very beginning, you probably kind of realize that I'm not doing this for fame, or for glory, for money, for anything. Uh, I make YouTube video, it's mainly number one because I enjoy doing it. If I don't enjoy doing it, trust me, I would not do it at all. It, it's not important. Um, it's not important at all in my life. Uh, but I enjoy doing this. I, I have fun. It's, it's kind of relaxed me, it gives me peace. It feels like I am connected to my community, uh, you know, and all, all my friends and family. Majority of the people who watch me uh, I don't want to. I don't want to say majority because I start off. It's only my friends and family. So the people who watch me are mostly my friends and family. And of course, now my subscriber base is so high now, uh, and so I, I don't even know who's watching me anymore. And um, but you know, I don't do this for. I don't do this, you know, for subscriber uh, at all whatsoever. Uh, and so, what you know. Oops, ooh, I just killed the music. Holy cow, that's a hot kill. I went for, oh my god, I, I accidentally pressed a button and it just like kill. It went from techno to lazy, <laughs> a lazy Sunday. Oh my god. I'm definitely not a professional DJ. All right. Okay, yeah, that just killed my. Yeah, so. One thing I, I love about this community, I, I tell people all the time, I'd rather have subscribers on its natural growth. That means people who want to join this community because they truly want to join this community. Uh, they want to be part of it. They want to be part of something special. They want to be part of, uh, they want to, you know, uh, make money and they want to get, you know, be financial independence and get out of the, get out of the situation they're in. And we talk about this all the time that, if you don't do something about it, tomorrow will be the same as yesterday until you do something about it. And, and the first step of doing something about it is invest and make money. And, uh, and so I, that's why, that's the, that's the people who I get, I get. So yeah, it's not important to me. Subscriber is not important. I just, I just had a chat with uh, RecShare. I wish I can show, I wish I can show you the text that I'm talking. This is like talking to Jay. This is, Another CEO, another executive. He was like, "Hey, man, I, I we we miscommunicated. Uh, I was kind of busy. He was giving uh, all kind of you know answer, and he's he he's in our Discord. He's watching us, and I'm talking to him right now. If uh, so, if you're watching this, uh, you know, Mr. CEO, executive from RecShare. Um, no, I really appreciate. It. Thank you for reaching out to me. The community will always be here. Uh, you know, so, but we you know, I I realize you." What we we're trying to coordinate was how to give out uh, hats and T-shirts, and I guess he got a cooler now. He got a Rexia cooler. He got all these gears and gadgets, and he want to give it out to the you know to everyone. And he's asking me how to do it. So I said, yeah, let's let's talk. And uh, and so and I was and so I sent him a, a message. I said, hey, you know, I appreciate it, you know, but I don't need those gears. I don't. I'm not doing this for fame for glory, for money, any of that stuff. You know, I, I really don't. Uh, how I'm gonna get rich is my portfolio. My portfolio is gonna get me rich. I'm not YouTube. Yeah, so 
I, I enjoyed this stuff. I enjoyed doing this stuff. So, uh, I, and I was being very sincere. So I told him, I said, hey, it's okay, man. Give, give your gear, give your merchandise to somebody who wants it. Uh, you know, s some other YouTuber, you know, uh, you know, who, who may need that stuff. Um, you know, so it's it's just a different different outlook. Okay, so why why I don't care much about subscribers and all that stuff? Because I'd rather talk to my friends and family, people who care about making money, people who want to get rich, and uh, people want to know how to do it. I want to talk to them. I want to talk to them about their investment journey with me, through me, uh, by me. Uh, you know, in coordination with me. You know, so with true by input. You know me and so i want to i want to help them so yeah and unfortunately you know i mean i wish i can narrow down the youtube and said so and so can watch it and so and so can't no you can't once you broadcast you broadcast to everyone everyone there's people from all around the world watching it whether they like me or don't like me and they have opportunity to watch it you know um and so anyway here we are and uh and we are doing this and we are we're pretty cool and chill and so on Sunday we do what you call a monthly review and I do monthly review that means I take out my powerpoints and I review it with all my friends and families and uh, and I, I'll, I'll go through this every week but before I do that let me check uh, 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 YouTube chat real quickly here calm check calm check loud and clear do you have a video weekly ETF payout picks uh, Ghosts and cars, no. I'm not. I'm not like other YouTuber that talk about weekly payout. I don't. I guess I don't know what that means. Weekly payout picks. I'm assuming. Hey, can you guys? Can you guys help me? What, what do you mean by that? Can. Does anybody want to? Ghosts and cars. Why don't you jump into Discord and just let's just talk about it? I, because I don't really don't understand what you mean. Hey, come come in the Discord and and just do you have a video of your weekly ETF payout? You know who does that really well is Entrepreneur Investor. Um, uh, and Entrepreneur Investor does that really well. He he, but he does it like for stocks, for bond, for not bond, but ETF. He he do like top ten videos. Um, I uh, Ghost and Cars. To be honest, I I'm a nobody man. I like, like I'm literally a nobody. I'm nothing, nothing special. I, I'm not trained in this stuff. I didn't go to school for this stuff. I have no financial background. I have no experience. Uh, I never work in a cubicle. So think about it. I have never worked. I never put on a suit and go to work and sit next to a, next to a, a guy who's 400 pounds and looking for a stapler, you know, like in the, in the movie office space. I have never worked in a, in, in, in a business environment. And all my schooling, I'm educated, but I'm educated in a different field. So I, I don't have any, I, 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 who am I to tell you what my, I guess I have, I have an opinion just like everybody else, what my top 10 is, I guess. Uh, but I, I, I'm a, dude, seriously, I'm just being honest with you. I'm a nobody, nobody. <laughs> <laughs> there's a whole bunch of YouTube out there that you could just go watch and uh, and if you watch our video man you see the formats man people love to have discussions and that's what really drive it and you can see it if, if, you know you can come in and just have discussion with me yeah sorry ghost I wish I can help you first of all I didn't even understand your question I'm trying to understand it do you have a video of your weekly ETF payout picks uh, wow I do a, I do a weekly review but that's my portfolio. I do I do a daily, weekly, monthly. I, I review my portfolio all the time, but I don't have like, hey, here is my, out of like 50 something fun, here is my top five favorite, you know, here's my hot, you know. No, I, I don't I don't think, I think that's the question. I don't have that ghost. I hope that, 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 that uh, <laughs> I hope that did discourage you. Uh, but hey, dude, if you wanna have this conversation, just, just jump into this court and just ask, have conversation. And uh, yeah, okay. So let's let's talk about PowerPoint. So I I do this PowerPoint review, and this is what keep the community and keep all of us aligned. For those who hang out with me, and this is they, a lot of people use this model 
but it's not uh, like I said. I don't usually do a lot of disclaimer, but but this is my portfolio. It's not your portfolio. I, I'm just using it, and you can model based on that, okay? And um, and you can do it any way you like. But it's just a model. We'll we'll pull up the portfolio here, and we'll talk about that. All right? Give me a second. Let me pull up the powerpoints, and I'm gonna shrink the powerpoint here. All right, all right, that's my PowerPoint, Woohoo! Okay, so the number one question, let me timestamp this. 10.36. So the number one question that people ask me all the time, no matter where I'm at, whether I'm at a coffee shop or whether I'm at work or you know whatever, because I love finance, I love talking about money, making money, getting rich and all this stuff. And when they see me, they recognize me because I wear my Coca-Cola hat or I have my Tesla. And, they, and especially, you know, if, if they recognize me, they go like, hey, man, man, I saw you on YouTube. That's awesome. Hey, hey thanks. I appreciate it, man. Uh, and they always like, what, man, what's the secret, man? What, how do you get rich? How do you make money? What, what is your advice to me? All right. I told them there's like six things, six, six things that you have to do in order to get rich. If you do these following things, you will get rich regardless what situation you're in. You will get rich, but you have to do these things, okay? And uh, so, the very first one out of these out of these steps here. Now you can Google these steps. It's not like I invented it, you know. But I, it just I came, you know, from from my life experience, I came up with these things, and and um, it, I, no, like I said, no research, no scientific data. I'm not a I'm not an expert by any means. It's just my own. It's just my personal experience and my life experience. All right. It's so the first one, the most important thing. A lot of people when they ask me, "How do you get rich, Khmer? How do you get rich?" I say the first thing you got to do is work on your relationship, because that's what makes us human. Human being. The the reason I do the reason I said that because I, I I'm a soldier. You know, I put on uniform to. The reason I put on uniform is to rescue people, save lives, to save life. I'm willing to risk my own life to save somebody else's life. That's why we put on a uniform. And so a lot of time when you when you ask these soldier, policemen, firemen, and all these people put in a uniform, nurses, doctor, everybody wear a uniform. Even lawyers wear a uniform. That's called a suit. Teacher wear a uniform. It's called their work uniform. Plumber wear a uniform. Everybody wear a uniform. When you ask them why do they wear these uniforms, why do they do the things they do, they do it because they, for their loved one, their, their mom, their dad, their brother, sister, their father, their husband, their wives, their kids, whatever, someone they love. Human being uh, uh, evolve around a relationship and that's why we do the things we do. Okay, so if you want to get rich, relationship matters because that's where the energy need to go in. If you, if you, if you dating the wrong girl, you, it's going to be a failure. It's going to you. You're going to struggle. If you date the wrong guy, you're going to end up, you know, being a, a single parent. Uh, you're going to end up, you know, having all kind of relationship issue. You have, uh, you know, mental health issue. Not only that, the guy going to just financially ruin you. What's the point of talking about money, nickel and diming, pennies and and interest, you know, 5%, 10%, 2%, whatever the your nickel. When we when you do investing, you always nickel dime everything. What's the point of nickel diming anything when you're dating somebody who is very toxic in your life? Or when you're marrying somebody who's just going to bring you down? What's the point? Yeah, go fix the relationship first before you do anything else, all right? And there's two types. <coughs> there's a toxic relationship and there's a good relationship. And we'll talk mostly on the good relationship. All right. So talk about relationship. Uh, here's, here's one thing I can promise you in this one. If you date the wrong person, if you're in the wrong relationship, you are going to be poor for the rest of your life. That's just, that is, the art of you coming out of that is very slim. Very, very slim. Can you get rich? Can you still be a millionaire? Y yes. The word yes is there. But you're going to be very, very difficult. Very, very difficult. So you're more likely going to be single, lonely, you have no financial freedom, and you're heavy dependent on others. You cannot do anything on your own. And because you're just financially broke and 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 you're going to be miserable and stuff like that and you're going to go into all kind of depression. And um, but most importantly is that understand that once you go into this journey, 
when you pick the wrong person, the wrong guy, the wrong girl, didn't matter, didn't matter who you date, who you love, but you're gonna be poor for the rest of your life. For the rest of your life. Think about that. You're gonna be poor for the rest of your life. That's crazy. That's the craziest part. Uh, you know, so that alone, I, I, I would scare me. I would just run away from just that alone, all right? Um, and I do, I run away a lot. Eh? Like, that's what good people are supposed to do. You see a toxic relationship, you just run away. Or let them go, you just let them go. Just let them go, you know, don't, don't even fight them. All right, but if you're in a good relationship, there's potential for wealth and happiness. Here's the crazy part about good relationship. It doesn't guarantee you how, because you date the perfect person or the best person, it doesn't guarantee you happiness. It doesn't guarantee you wealth either. But what it does, it gives you a fighting chance. That's all it does, it gives you a fighting chance. It gives you a fighting chance in life. And that's that's all it can do. Being in a healthy relationship gives you a fighting chance to be successful, be rich. And um, you have good partners, and we're gonna talk about how they're gonna get you rich down the, the next slide. Generating wealth, combined income, and you're going to be stable. That's that's those things is what's going to generate you well. Mainly the combined income part. We're going to talk more about that later on too. And so yeah, you want to have a positive relationship. Now, unfortunately, you determine that. No one else in the world can do that. And maybe God and your parents. That's probably about it. Okay, uh, can help you, but nobody else can help you except you. If you pick the wrong guy, if you pick the wrong girl. Just understand, you're gonna be poor for the rest of your life. You pick the right person, you're gonna be fine. So that's number one, relationship matter, right? Number two, you wanna get rich. You wanna get rich, you fix your relationship, all right? Number two, reduce, reduce your risk. Uh, risky behavior and depth, I just put them all together. Anything negative in your life, uh, just reduce all those negativity in your life, right? Like credit, these are depth, you know, credit card, car payments, clothing, I mean, why, I own a Tesla, but I can't afford to own a Tesla. But when I was growing up in high school, in college, guess what I was driving? A Honda. Yeah, I was driving a Honda Civics. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, just learn learn to manage your budget. Don't, you know, don't go out there and buy a Lamborghini. Can I afford a Lamborghini? Yeah, I can afford a Lamborghini. I'm making good money. But I'm not gonna go, why would I buy a Lamborghini? It's a waste. First of all, if you're in Miami, man, that Lamborghini's everywhere, all right? Clothing. Uh, a lot of people, I'm not very fashionable at all. I mean, you see me, you see almost all my uniform, on my shirt, I wear the same clothes, almost all my uh, videos. And even with a video, I have the same, exact same clothes, okay? Uh, bags, like, that's the like, Louis Vuitton and all that stuff. I, trust me, I hang out with a girl right now and she is very expensive, <laughs> very expensive. All right, membership, uh, people don't realize how much it costs, you know, to, to be all kind of membership. All kind of membership costs money, so that can reduce these rep. risky behavior. You know this here you can deal with, but risky behavior is tough. That tie with the relationship. If you're dating a gambler, yeah, you're gonna be poor. You're dating a party lifestyle, man. You're not in college anymore. You're in your 40, and your 50 now. Hey, you know at some point you just gotta grow up. If you're still partying, you're still thinking you're in your 20, and you're still running around going to club, living up. Whoop, whoop. Guess what? You're gonna be poor. You're gonna be poor. That's it. That is the bottom line. You're gonna be poor. All right. Uh, sexual behavior, mis you know, whatever. You know, uh, drugs, uh, alcohol. So you know, you're going out there just being, uh, just, just living it up, living the life, and enjoying life. Guess what? Yeah, you're gonna get all kinds of disease. You're gonna get all kinds of drug problem. You're gonna get, and you end up going in and out of jail. You're doing something illegal. It's just crazy. How are you gonna get rich? Why would you worry about? There's people talking about Tesla to me, like, Tesla sucks. Yeah, but dude, that's saying from a guy who's in and out of jail. I'm like, all right, yeah. And he's like, yeah, you got me. I got a guy who was divorced five times. Divorced five times, and I was I was having dinner with him, and he's telling me that my investment strategy is gonna make this, like, it's horrible. And I look at him, I'm like, dude, you divorced five times, man. You're paying all kinds of child support. And you're making fun of my investment strategy? <laughs> yeah. So r reduce those debt, risk, risk, uh, risky behavior, number two. And if you reduce that, it will get you rich. It will, it will help you. So I told you, if you do these things, you will, you will have a fighting chance to get rich, okay? 
Number three is you got to generate more income. Uh, you're not going to get rich watching people on YouTube. You're just not. You're going to get rich by investing, by ma making money. Um, reading a book is not going to get you rich. Uh, watching people, you know, getting rich is not going to get you rich. You got to do something. You got to go out there and go to work and do something. Okay? Um, all right. So the first thing you got to do is generate more income. So I don't know what job you have. Everybody have their own job. But if you if you need to get two jobs, there's a lot of people now. Discord had multiple jobs. Uh, they they worked in the daytime. They have a secondary job and they do Uber driving, door dashes on the weekend. It's crazy how many hours these guys put. Uh, a lot of guys on our Discord are putting a lot of money, a lot of effort into works. It's just crazy. Um, all right, so here is here is my six tips on how to generate more income. Uh, there, there are many. I just, you know, these are just my ideas. Mostly these are, I think about it, most of the people in my YouTube channel are immigrants. So these are mostly targeted toward immigrants. When I when I put this together, I put it from an immigrant mindset, uh, you know, for to help, you know, people who came to the United States, right? Uh, so number one, try to be a licensed professional. These are the doctor, lawyers, uh, you know, engineer, you know, plumbers, anything that you need license for. Teacher need license. Uh, if you, a truck driver, you need license. You, you need license. Licensed professional actually pay pretty good. This is where majority of us fall under. I fall under licensed professional because I'm a military guy. You know, there's a lot of lot of you need the license. The other field that generate good income is STEM. So if you if you're in high school, college, and you say, okay, I'm not sure where to go, what to do. Well, major in one of these fields: science, technology, engineering, math. Major in Asian study is not going to get you rich. I can tell you that for sure. Right. Majoring in uh, philosophy and liberal arts school somewhere, maybe, I don't know, I, I'm not in that major, but uh, I don't think you're going to get rich. Uh, right. uh, entrepreneur, entrepreneur is where a lot of the immigrants fall under. If you want to know, I mean, you go to Orange County, there's like a million businesses, they're all run by Vietnamese and, and, and Cambodian. So there's a lot of, lot of Asian, like nail salon. Uh, like Southeast Asian just dominate the nail salon. I mean, they just like it. You, it, they're everywhere. Dunkin' Donuts, man. Don't not not Dunkin' Donut. That's a brand, but donut shops. They're everywhere. Laundromat, gas stations. Uh, oh my God, I can go on and on, man. All kinds of small business. I I know. I'm I'm I'm. I got friends and family in small business. I I'm very familiar with it. Um, I support it because the reason why a lot of immigrants in an entrepreneur because you cater toward your group there's people don't know how to read or write in english and they're doing really really well i have i have friends um who cannot i mean they can speak english or barely he can't read or write that well you know but but he owned a really successful nail salon that's generating almost a hundred thousand dollars a month a month not a year a month all right and so yeah he's making really good money but you know it does you don't need to speak English to, to fix nail to, to work on nails man charge people 50 bucks it's crazy how uh, how these things you know how people make money so uh, luxury sale I see this a lot because you know if you're in Miami and you you know and you hang out where I hang out with boats and stuff like that you know you, you see a lot of luxury sale um, a lot if you can do luxury sale man then you then yeah you make pretty good money talents these are the basketball player, the songwriter, the artist, the only fan people. Uh, you, know, you need talent. I, I don't have talent. I can't sing, dance, or dribble ball. So, you can you can you can make good money if you if you have talents. Okay. Right? Uh, let me give me a second. There's a lot of going on in chat here. Let me just read the chat real quick. Just got home. Uh, made a spreadsheet. See how I can get Coney to 500. Interesting, Matthew. Come here, uh, on your investment for click on 2024. You on the next 12 months, 24 will show you what you get paid in January. Oh, Spanland should teach me. Just teach me something. Thank you, Spanland. I did not know that. Thank you. Woo. Thank you. All right. Uh, Spanland. Uh, that's awesome. I. Okay, I gotta click on it. Well, I'll do it after that. I, it took me a while. I finally figured that stuff out. Uh, what is your best ETF or fund in the moment uh, moment holding its value and yet giving you a decent yield return Matthew or anyone? Okay, yeah, anybody can answer that question. I mean, you're in the high yield dividend group, so anybody can answer that question. Facebook, IWMY, Jim Brickley, that's good. I like IWMY. 
I have to, I, I can't, I can't lie to you, man. I really like IWMY. I like QQY, IWMY a lot. Um, all right, so that's my, that's my take. You, you guys can do whatever you want. Um, all right, so talent, CEO, not easy, man. CEO, you gotta be, you gotta be a boss. Uh, not just CEO, but you gotta be a boss. But that's not easy. That, that's a much harder route. But if you can be a CEO, be a boss somewhere, you make good money. Okay. So the bottom line is generate more income. If you have to hustle, do whatever you need to do, generate more income, all right? Number four, uh, a lot of people think that I'm anti-retirement plan because I'm doing this, all right? If you, but you have to understand that majority of my friends and family, majority of the people in my discords, they don't have a career. They, they, they have a job, not a career, which is totally different, all right? They don't have a retirement plan. A lot of these jobs don't have a retirement plan. All right, they go to work and they get paid cash. They go to work, they get paid weekly, you know, four hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, thousand dollars a month. Yeah, they don't have a retirement plan. They're 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 working. That's it. They don't. I don't know how to explain it. They don't have a retirement plan. A lot of people always talk to me like they have a retirement plan. I say, who are you talking to? Majority of the, like there's a whole segment of group of population do not have retirement plan. I just, I, I don't know how to explain it. They don't have a job that pay that. And then you can say, okay, why don't you open an IRA plan or ROT or individual plan, whatever, whatever. Dude, if, if, they, if they're working as a dishwasher in a Chinese restaurant in Timbuktu, Kentucky somewhere, you, you think they're gonna know about this? No, that's why they're watching my YouTube channel, trying to help them, all right? And they're trying to get information. That's why I'm reaching out to them. That's why I'm doing YouTube channel, reaching out to these guys. All right. So this way, number one, you know, so he don't wash dishes for the rest of his life. Number two, so he can be financially independent. All right. Now, if you have a retirement plan, go for it. I love retirement plan. I have a retirement plan, but I'm in the military. All right. We all have retirement plan. I have pensions and all that stuff. All right. There is some pro and con about retirement plan, and I love it. If you have a retirement plan. With, with an employee that matching and stuff like that, do that. But a lot of people don't have it. But I always want to say, if you have a retirement plan, do that, all right? Now, in addition of it, this is where we at. Number five and so on, this is where we at, all right? So you don't have a retirement plan, you have a job. Somebody give you $1,000 a week. You get $4,000 a month. I'm just making that number up, all right? $4,000 a month, what do you do with that money? Right, you can go spend it on a girl, spend it on a beer at a local bar, or you can just take a thousand dollar and invest. Right? This is where this is where this YouTube channel, this is where this community hang out. Right? So now, how do you invest? How do you get rich? Right? So there's there's two type of investment strategy essentially. There's really two. There's either you're gonna go as growth, or you're gonna go in dividends. Dividends generate you income. And it can be low income or high income, but they generate you income. Growth, you buy something very low and you watch it grow and in about a couple of years and you sell it, you know, it's just, and then and then you make the money out of that, all right? And then you buy something else. That's growth, all right? It, it, it's, it's as simple as that. And so here's a good example of dividends paying stock. Uh, Apple pays stock dividends, but they pay very low, like less than 1%. Coca-Cola paid like 3%. I think T. Rowe Price paid like 3%. There are companies out there paying dividends by like 3%, 2%, 1%. But then there's a whole bunch of companies that don't pay any dividend. I think Meta, we need to move Meta over now. Is Meta officially a uh, dividend paying stock now? Does anybody know that? All right, I'm gonna move over until somebody tell me I'm wrong. Yes, yes. Okay. Right. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> so here's Meta paying dividends, all right? And guess what? Don't pay dividend. Google, Netflix, Tesla, they don't pay dividends. You own these, you buy them cheap, and you sell them high. That's it. Those are two strategies. You have a thousand dollar, what do you do with the money? You can buy Tesla, you can buy Coca-Cola, right? Yeah, you can buy whatever you want to buy. But all of us here in the high yield dividends, we're going after high yield dividends. All right. Um, all right, so let me click on the next slide here. Okay, so I just I just coined this. I, I it's nothing. It's I didn't come up with it. I mean I mean I came up with it. That's why it's probably different. Okay, so 
So there's low yield, mid yield, high yield, and there's ultra high yields. Okay, there's a degree of differences on there. Depending on who you talk to, people call it differently. They call, you know, but all of them pay dividends. And I and I like all dividends. I like Coca-Cola, I like all of them. But if you only have so much money, this is why we're talking about this. Is we would if you only have so much, then you do this. But if somebody gave me a million dollar, Pat me uh, Pat Monk gave me a million dollar, guess what? I'm not gonna do it this way. I'm gonna take that money and go buy something else, you know? Like it's it's a different strategy because you're trying to preserve a million dollar. But if we're talking about you start with zero, zero, no money, no money whatsoever, and you put a thousand dollars for the first time, what do you invest it on? Well, you can invest in any type of income. All right, you can buy Coca Cola, SCHD, or you can go buy six twelve percent, you know, Altera Group Realty Income, or you can get something a little more higher, like you know, CLM S Vault. But we're looking at mainly the ultra high. These guys paying fifty cent, fifty percent or more yield. That's what we're looking at. That's all we. That's that's what all of us are here for. All right. So number seven, and here's my goal, and and uh, my goal, I. The word all in on Tesla, it's really, it's like a, a word flip play. It's really not all in on Tesla, it's all in on high yield dividends. And Tesla represent all the high yield dividends because it's one of the best funds out there, right? Mainly I wanna go after financial independence. You notice I cross out the retire early. This is the one thing I, I, I different from the FIRE community. The FIRE community, financial independent, retire early. What I tell all uh, all my friends who are immigrants and you know and, and people in the working class somewhere, uh, whatever, don't don't retire. Keep working until you can't not work. Because what you want to do is you want to collect more income and build wealth and then build generation wealth, build generation wealth for your for your loved one. And go back to number one relationship. The reason you do things, the reason you put on a uniform, the reason you do things is mainly. Uh, to build that family. So now you have a family, you have a husband and wife and you have kids. And guess what? You want to give this money to your kids so they go to college and stuff like that. What I always tell all my immigrant friends is this. Your fam, our family, our parents brought us to the United States. And some of you came to the United States. But the immigration journey end on your watch. End it on your watch. It's my, my family immigration journey end on my watch. I'm not gonna pass that down to the uh, to 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 our kids when I have kids. First, thing, I gotta get married. Woohoo! Couple more weeks. Couple more weeks, guys. Woohoo! I can't wait. Uh, <laughs> are you guys all excited? Yeah, oh. for you. <laughs> Well, Pamela, we're all gonna meet each other up uh, for my retirement ceremony, so I can't wait. Sure. Yeah. You know. So yeah. So I uh, will. You know, like, hey, continue to build well. All right. So f financial independent. That's what I go after. All right. But the main thing is this: I'm generating cash flow. That is it. Generating cash flow. That's all I'm going after. Generating cash flow. Income. Income focus. All right. Uh, hey, retired dividends, just say hello. Uh, are you going to uh, stream it? Um, I just... Retired dividend, hey man, I saw your video on, uh, this morning video on your portfolio. Interesting, man. Interesting. Very interesting. I, I was like, I want to comment on that. I was like, but I was, I was at work, but I was just, I was listening. I couldn't really uh, do much, but, uh, yeah. I'd love to hear your thought process on that, man. Uh, talk about your video. All right. So, uh, I start off, I put $1,000 a month. Congratulations, Khmer. Congratulations for what? I'm not sure. What, do you, what, what am I you congratulate me on for, my friend? You see this $1 million? No. <laughs> that's, that's the goal. Seven to eight years to get $1 million. Yeah, that's the goal. All right. Uh, my goal was to generate sixteen thousand dollars first year, and I think I achieved that. You know, uh, my second year goal is to get forty-one thousand. I'm definitely gonna achieve that. I'm <laughs> way, way achieved that. And my third year goal is to make eighty-two thousand dollars. I'm, I'm generating eighty, almost eighty thousand dollars right now, and this is my second year goal. So obviously, I, I'm, I'm gonna achieve that pretty quickly. All right. 
All right. So that is my portfolio. And so that's the strategy that I was going into. So this is, I constantly update these things. And my monthly strategy, weekly dividend payout schedule. My goal is to get my first week to get $1,000. And here's Tesla. Obviously, I broke 2000 already. So I'm going to put this in big 3000 And then I'm going to add... I'm going to add Tony to this and I'm going to add AIYY to this and I'm going to add uh, SQY. All right, these are four. Gonna, of course, when these grow up, I mean, Tesla will always give me $3,000. So when these three get up, it's going to get like $5,000. All right, I'm going to get more. Matter of fact, this second week is going to be all yield max. I'm going to own all of them. Third week, guess what? I'm going to update third week. Uh, I'm going to have Y max. Uh, why bank? All right, well, first of all, I already own these guys. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, retired dividend. Yeah, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I didn't know what you were talking about. Yes, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you, brother. Oh, my God. That's that's happiest time for me, man. Happiest time. All right, so it's going to be Y Max. All right, Y Mag, all right, and then and then TSLP, all right. Those are the three. And right now it gave me zero. Oh, it gave me about hundred dollars right now, all right. Clip. Uh, eventually, I'm gonna own uh, CLM, CRF, THTA, and a whole bunch of other one uh, because I'm right now. Clip gave me a thousand dollar, and I'm gonna own these other funds to, to to build foundation around it. These are my core, and these are my satellites, all right. All right, so QQY is my core, and also IWMY, and eventually I'm going to own uh, JEPY, eventually I'm going to own JEPI, JEPI, XYLD, QYLD, all, while, all these guys here. Eventually, obviously, this is going to be five thousand dollar. I'm going to get five thousand dollar. My goal, ultimate goal, is get five thousand here, five thousand here, five thousand, five thousand. Eventually, get twenty thousand know? dollar. All right, Ghost and Car, that's what I'm talking about? Is, you talking about this slide right here? Oh, man. All right, so that's this slide. Okay, let's go to the next slide. All right, there's a whole bunch of slides. So the goal is ultimately, you know, I'm trying to get to a million dollars somewhere. I don't know why I put it up here. I think it was just... All right, let me just shrink this. I built this slide like many moons ago. All right, so my current state, uh, my contribution is 1,000. That's not true anymore. Matter of fact, I'm gonna stop the contribution. I put 1,500. I don't need to contribute anymore. I'm making enough money that I don't contribute. Uh, QQY, IWMY gave me a thousand. All right, it's not Jep Y. Tesla is not giving me two thousand, give me three thousand. All right, Clip gave me one thousand, but it's actually this is going to be four thousand. Right now it's three thousand. So if you combine this together, one thousand, three thousand, one thousand is actually five thousand. All right, uh, five thousand. All right. So 1,000, 3,000, 1,000. Okay, so they're like, okay, wait, I'm getting 6,000 a month. How, how is that? Because actually, remember I told you I have Connie and I have all these other ones that give me actually the other $1,000, all right? So that's where I get that. So this is actually uh, 4,000, all right? Because Tesla alone is giving me 3,000, but all the other fund combined eventually get me to 4,000. That's where I get the 6,000 a month. All right. This is not including my contribution. You know, it's six thousand a month. If I you combine the contributions, a thousand five hundred. Right. So 24, 24 goal. My twenty twenty four goal is to get ten thousand a month. That's the goal. All right. I'm updating the slides as we speak. One thousand five hundred contribution. I probably take this away. QQY and IWMY. All right. And that will get me to 1,000. Uh, eventually, going to get me to 2,000 because I'm on my way to 2,000. I'm slowly building that. All right, test second week. All 
This is first week. All right. So second week is Tesla, Kony, AI, AIYY, and so on. You know, I'm just going to put Kony. And that's going to be 4,000. And then third week, woohoo, Y Max. Y Mag. Oh man, I, 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 I'm so happy that I get to type that. Just typing that along is just excite me. All right, so that's going to give me a thousand. And then Cliff gave me a thousand. So that's 2,000 here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to say something? Oh, hey, retired dividends. Uh, let me ask you, uh, because I know your community is getting bigger. Do you want like hats and t-shirts and coolers? Because Rex Shear CEO want to give that away. And I told him no. <laughs> like I told him, I, I don't, you know, like, you know, if you want to, you know, go find some other YouTuber, you know, like some, some other one. If you want that, I'll, I'll, you should, I'll, 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 I'll link you guys up together. So this way, he can coordinate all that stuff. I, I, I told him that I don't need to be more fam I don't need to be famous. I d I'm not trying to grow my subscriber, so I have no idea. My subscriber, it's just it's natural order. People subscribe, people subscribe. It's just naturally the way it is. Uh, so I'm not trying to grow at all. I'm, I don't want it to grow. Matter of fact, I'm trying to keep it low. I, I really don't want it to grow. And uh, so I told Rex Shea, CEO, that Hey, yeah, you don't need any swagger because if you do that, what's going to happen is he probably going to promote it on his side. The comp his side said, "Hey, we're donating, we're giving to YouTubers and all that stuff," and and I don't need to be in a spotlight. Uh, I just want my YouTube for my friends and families. Like that, I'm doing this for my friends and family. And uh, yeah, if you want to, if you want the swagger man, let me know. I'll send you. I'll send you his his contact so you can call him and. And talk to him. All right. So essentially, I want to get to ten thousand dollars a month. So two thousand. Uh, you know, I'm missing. You know, eventually, I want to get you know two thousand here. Mainly, what I'm gonna to try to grow is probably like five thousand here. That's 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 probably the goal to get the five thousand there, and and that will that will get me to ten thousand. Right now, I'm on my way to achieve two thousand. On the first week, and I'm only I'm only I have the number of share to get five thousand. So if Tesla pay me, uh, if Tesla pay me more than fifty cents, fifty cents or more, I'm gonna get five thousand. All right, because Coney and all other stuff that I have in my second week, because Tesla will give me four thousand. If it pay me fifty five cents, it's gonna give me four thousand over four thousand, and all the other combined will come out to be five thousand. So. Right now, just testing it alone, I will get this. It's just they pay 40 cents this month, so it's kind of yucky. All right, I'm gonna grow the Y Max and Y Max. This is gonna be the next thing I grow. I'm gonna get that, and that's how I'm gonna get to 10,000 by by the end of the year. That's my goal. Now, 2025, ultimately, I want to get to is 20,000. I'm not gonna worry about this. I'm gonna update it later. But in 2025, I wanna I wanna grow. N Notice my contribution is not even calculated in this thing. Uh, in 2025, I'm going to cancel my contribution. I can cancel it right now. I don't really need the contribution, but it, it helps speed up this process to get to 10,000. Uh, and then, and then eventually in 2025, I want to get to, I want to get to 10,000 plus. Now in in 2025, essentially every month I'm putting $10,000 a month back into my portfolio. What I want to do is. I'm building for tax purpose, for tax purpose. So I wanna, I wanna, every time I put 10,000 in here, I probably just gonna buy, instead of putting into a fund, I put into a money market, like like a 5% money market, uh, charge swap. So 10,000 go into money market every month, you know, like not 10,000, obviously 10,000 it, but let's say a thousand, out of 10,000, oh no, out of like 12,000 or 11,000, I will put at least a thousand into the money market. You know, that's that's essentially my next step is to build taxes. Right now, my taxes kind of answer to my job. All right, but in 2025, I'm not going to have a job. At the end of the end of 2025, I'm looking at the transition during that time. So I'm not going to have the job. So therefore, I don't. I'm. I gotta pay. Figure out how to pay taxes. All right. 
All right, that's that solved that problem. All right, and uh, that's pretty much it. And all right, so I, I gotta explain this a little quickly about core and satellite. These are the goal that I'm trying to do. Uh, this is this is at the end of the day. What I want to do is I want to build my first week, second week, third week around these funds. So like my third week right now, it's not gonna be SPY, it's gonna be WIMAX and WIMAX. All right. And you know, build around these things and then put uh, buy all these other fun. Like I want to own all YD, XYD, Chappy, VG, and stuff that. And and that's how you support these fun. You know, you and you don't need to own a lot of CLM because you have your core already. So you just own a little bit. Why you want to just own a little bit? In event that IWM didn't, didn't pay me a dollar. It only paid me 50 cents that month. Guess what? That's okay. My satellite will pull in, ensure that I get a thousand dollar no matter what. So uh, that's the goal is to get a thousand dollar no matter what. All right. Anyway, so there's my PowerPoint. I want to show to you. And, uh, and so this way you kind of have an idea. I'm constantly updating these PowerPoints. And now what I'm going to show you is the uh, Excel spreadsheet, and then and then I'm going to open to the community to have discussion and talk about these things. Okay, uh, let me let me get the Excel spreadsheet ready here. PowerPoint, uh, Excel. Where is my Excel? All right. One of the questions that people ask all the time is how are you going to get rich? <laughs> how are you going to get rich? Okay. Well, the Excel spreadsheet will help you out. All right, this Excel spreadsheet is built by Frog. My new average night now is 11:40. Uh, oh shoot, I just. Oh man, I just log out, so I can't. Um, I can't remember the number. Give me a second. Let me. Let me look at. Let me look at the, my phone. I, I've got my new average. It's like 11:56 or something like that. This is Tesla. We're looking at only on Tesla. All right. Remember, I got multiple fun. So my Tesla average is $11.65. All right. And then it pay 40 cents. So I'm updating, I'm updating this thing. All right. You can calculate tax if you want. You don't need to. I, I just don't do it for, if you want to calculate tax, you just put 20, put 30% right in there. All right. That's it. You just put it in there. But remember, I told you, I already have tax set aside. So, I don't need to do that, okay? And so far, I have, uh, let me go back to the very beginning, 2024, we're in February right now. I started with 5,700 share. Uh, so February, uh, February, it's actually my total share is 7,500. So let me fix this. All right. Wow, somehow this thing got screwed up. I don't know what's going on here. See, I didn't, I didn't build this Excel spreadsheet, so my Excel spreadsheet screw up. Oh, I mess up, I mess up the formula by punching in here. I mess up the formula, so I need to put in here. Yeah. All right. Let's say, let's make eighty-two. Let's say 82,000. Oh, that's pretty close. Uh, it's 7,500, so let's make it uh, 90,000. Nope, that's too much. So 87? Oh my God. You can tell I'm not, I'm not re like retired. This is close enough, all right? For the purpose of retired dividends laughing at me, he's looking at Excel spreadsheet. He's like, dude, let me teach you Excel spreadsheet. This is easy. He's like, I'm an accountant. I, I'll do this in my sleep. No, at work, uh, I was at the armory and we had a, a uh, this, we had to disable the uh, the M16 and the nine mil. And we tried to time it. We're like, ready, set, go. I'm breaking the nine mil apart. And I was like, done. I, uh, man, some of these young guys, man, they're good. They're good. 
they're good. They, they can beat me. I've been doing it for a while. I'm pretty good, but these kids are good. <laughs> so that's like that's that's like uh, retiring dividend in an Excel spreadsheet. He look at retire. He look at he look at Excel spreadsheet like I look at guns. When I look at guns, I walk in like, oh my god, so beautiful. Guns are everywhere. Like they're so beautiful. And he look at Excel spreadsheet. He's drooling right now. He's like, oh my god, numbers. Yeah. All right. So anyway. Um, I have about $87,000 or 7,500 shares of Tesla, 7,500. So a little bit off, we'll off a few, but that's okay. So in March, I should get about somewhere around 8,000 if I put it all back. If I put, if I just did nothing but drip. In other words, I get all the money and put it back in. And if I do that, and plus my 1,500, essentially, I will get, I will grow this fund. So by, by May, it become $9,000. Now remember, the price of Tesla is so cheap. I'm using 1165, that's my average. We don't know what the price of Tesla in May is. That's why we use my average. But if I use $9, man, this number is, oh my God, it grows so fast, all right? So anyway, by the end of the year, by 2025, I should have 12,000 share or $5,000 a monthly return, and my portfolio is much bigger than now. My Tesla, it's just Tesla. I'm making, I'm getting $5,000 a month just from Tesla, right? But by 2025, by the end of 2025, I'm gonna get $8,000 a month just from Tesla. $8,000 a month just from Tesla. Even at 40 cents, just think about it. I'm using 40 cents, right? So how long does it take for me to get to a million dollars? So here's 850, 2028, right? And here's a million dollar, okay? I'm gonna own a million. By 2029, all right, by 2029, somewhere around this window, dude, I, if I reach 800 million, 800,000, that's like a million dollar to me. <laughs> all right, by 2029, so five years from now, this is 2024. The, oh, the end, it's essentially four years. Just do it this way, just the end of four years, I'm gonna be close to it. The end of four years, Four years from now, I'm gonna have a million dollar. If as long as I drip Tesla, if I just drip Tesla, I will get this amount. Let's say I don't put any money in there. I just only drip Tesla and I walk away. Then it just it just move it. It just move it to to five years. That's all I did. Five years. I'm gonna get it in 2030. By the end of by the end of 20 by the end of the fourth year, going to my fifth year, I will get a million dollars. If I just drip, just drip without any monthly contribution. In other words, if I walk away from my portfolio right now, I walk away. I go live in a mountain seven years. I go live with the uh, go go to Nepal and live with the uh, you know with the monks and come back seven years, seven years in Tibet, come back and my portfolio will be a million dollars. This is at the lowest rate. Imagine it paid me 85 cents during the summer. Guess what? I'm gonna reach a million dollar. I'm gonna reach a million dollar in three years. If it pay 85 cents in three years, 2024, 2025, 2026, with no contribution, just drip, just drip my portfolio. Just all I do is just drip my portfolio. Let the computer do it. In three years, I come back, it's a million dollar portfolio. If it pay 85 cents. Yeah. Is there a way you can share that spreadsheet? Uh, yeah, I. I, I, I gotta figure out how to remove this, and I don't know how to remove that, so, uh, but I don't mind sharing it. You know, Frog hasn't come on online in a long time. If she's out there, hey Frog, I don't know. I don't, you know, Frog is busy being a mom, so unfortunately, uh, I'm, I've, been, I've been pinging her, but she hasn't responded, so yeah, I, would I gotta get permission first to give this Excel spreadsheet. What I need to do is I need to build one for you. I'm just gonna build one. So one of these weekend, I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna build one. I know how to build it, it's not that difficult in terms of formula. I just I just copy and paste this formula. You know, that's it. I mean, it's not that difficult for me. So I will build one.
and then I'll share with all of you. All right. Yeah, so essentially, if you put 85 cents, but let's say they average 55 cents. How long it take? Oh, 57 cents. Uh, 55 is fine. All right, 55 cents. Uh, so we, it's going to get me somewhere around four years again. So essentially four years. As long as you drip this thing, in four years, you're going to get about a million dollars. If I just, if I walk away now, I drip and kabam, I'm going to be a millionaire. That, and this is just Tesla. This is just Tesla. Remember, I have other funds. So <laughs> if, if I do this for my portfolio, it's actually faster. All right. I'm going to get $20,000 a month. I'm going to get $10,000 a month uh, on year one. This the first year. I'm going to get $20,000 in year 25. $20,000. Where $20,000 of that? Right here. I'm going to make this much by the end of 2025. I'm already at half a million. $20,000 a month. That's $20,000 a month. Every month. Yeah, it's crazy how fast it moves. It's really, really crazy. All right, so that's the Excel spreadsheet. I just want to show you all that, so kind of give you an idea. Um, all right, before I turn over to the audience, uh, let me look at uh, YouTube real quick. And anybody want to say anything? Um, hey, okay, so Peanut Gallery, uh, you guys, what do you think of this Excel spreadsheet, guys? What do you think? Have you ever heard of the rule of 72? Uh, yes, but I... Yes, but explain to me. Uh, so, like, if you take your yield or your total return, and you take the number 72 and divide it by that number, it will tell you how many years it takes for it to double itself. Okay, so how, so, how long is uh, so, for my Tesla to double? It'd be like 1.3 years or something like that. Okay. So you would take 72, let's say you have a 10% yield. Yeah. Uh, you would take 72 divided by 10, and that would be 7.2 years. Seven years? If you had a 10%. All right. As in, the, the math is just easy for 10%. All right. Uh, that's kind of a quick and easy way of figuring out how long it's going to take like $10,000 to double. Mm -hmm. If it's a 10% yield, it's going to be 7.2 years. You should have $20,000. Yeah. You know, it, what, what's crazy about my portfolio is that it moves so fast now. The, the crazy part is how it moves. It's going to take me a whole year just to get to 12,000. But then and then but the second year it's going to go up to like i'm sorry that's that's a share and so from four thousand to six thousand okay so i only gain like two thousand dollar more all right but then the second year i'm going to like almost twelve thousand like it's literally like double that number it's crazy how compound work you know yeah yeah with your yield it should be moving fairly quickly oh yeah it's moving fast now i'm i'm on my way to be a millionaire in about you know three four years in four years and regardless no matter what the match you say it's four years you know in four years i'm gonna reach a million dollar in four years there's nothing stopping it i have to share i mean unless somebody blow up tesla i mean that's yeah, it, unless somebody take out Elon Musk and Tesla, there's nothing stopping them from from reaching that a million dollar. Isn't that crazy? Public, what would you ever would you ever dream that you're gonna be a millionaire and within your lifetime? Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I guess it depends on how you measure it. Uh huh. You know, it's uh. You know, if you're measuring it by the portfolio or net worth, you know, because I'm, I'm halfway there now. 
Mm-hmm. So, and I have uh, my timeline's a little different. I'm 10, 15 years away from retirement. Congratulations, brother. Congratulations. Yeah. Well, if you with with Jinda, Jinda is always posting he buying something all the time. Jinda is crazy, man. That guy, that guy is a walking millionaire. He's, I don't know where he get the money from. I don't know where this dude got money from. Yeah, J- <laughs> wait, wait, Jinda, Jinda, where you at? We want to tease you a little bit. Jinda, this morning he just like, hey, uh, I just bought like. A thousand shares. A thousand shares is like twenty thousand dollar. He's just like, ah, I just bought it. <laughs> I'm making six thousand a month. I have to wait. I have to put my portfolio for three months before it reached twenty thousand dollars. Twenty thousand dollar. Chinda say Chinda is not crazy. <laughs> You are one crazy cat. <laughs> oh my god, so fun, so fun! I love watching Jenna buying stuff. He just, he is just wild man. I made a video on a Chinese company, and then Jenna's like, ah, "Yep, I already bought it." <laughs> I'm like, "Dude, this is some random video. Why would you buy that?" Yeah, it's just so funny. All right. Yeah, six thousand a month. It's gonna go back into the portfolio. This is not including my contribution. My contribution is another thousand five hundred. So total in my portfolio is seven thousand five hundred. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. I perform weapon cleaning during the Super Bowl. Bill, <laughs> Bill, understand exactly what I'm talking about. I like it. Yeah. I man, oh I hate that duty. When I was a young when I was a young devil dog, man, they made they made me clean rifle like it's they like go clean the rifle range. Oh the go go clean the armory. Oh my god, you'd be there for hours just like Q tipping everything. The only good thing is that they let you they, they let you have music and you can watch the T V while you're cleaning, you know. But you can't read a book, you know, so you, you can't really read a book while you're cleaning. But at least you can watch radio, watch music, and just clean. You just sit there and clean rifle. Holy cow, man! That just you don't you don't understand madness until you become an armor. <laughs> oh my God, those guys! God bless them. All right, uh, let's see. Clearance. I would say Connie has been on a big run in the last three weeks. I'm trying to get to ten thousand share. Ten thousand share. Oh, ten thousand share in Tesla. I'm sorry, thirty. I thought he was talking about 10,000 share in uh, uh, in Connie. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, if you if you want to join the discussion, the conversation, all you do is uncue the mic and just start asking, start having a conversation. I'm done with this portion of the video where I go to the PowerPoint review and talk about my investment strategy and all that stuff. So now we're going to go into a different segment. Hey, right. one of the questions that people ask me is uh, the membership thing. Okay. Uh, so I made a video. Uh, so this membership uh, is really uh, my my video. Anything to talk about money, YouTube, and all this stuff, it's free. It should, it, it, in my opinion, it should always be free for me. I, everybody else, whatever they do, this membership is really because I have. I, I have a lot of reaction video. Uh, I do a lot of reaction video. And some of these reaction video can be very sensitive to people. I don't know why. It's not them. It's not the, the people I'm reacting to. The people I'm reacting to, they're, they're happy. They're like, oh, great, man. But their community is very toxic. So sometimes they come and attack me. And I don't want them to attack me. But I don't want not to make a video. So uh, because some of these reactions are good. They, these are like... They they point out they point out something. I wanna I wanna say okay, 
how come we don't do that? Or how come we do it differently? How come we, how can we get better? So I want to react to it, but then somehow the commu- their community would think it's negative, so they come attack me. So therefore, I, I took all that reaction video, I made it to member. So people who want to watch the reaction video, great, pay for it. Unfortunately, the cheapest member you can get is 99 cents. So you pay for 99 cents and watch that. And then, and what happened, my YouTube video, my this YouTube video for a long, long time, it, it's for the, for the last three years, this 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 channel is not new. It's It's been around for a long time. But it's really about, it was travel. I, I should show you the playlist, I'll give you an idea. Uh, it's this music, Asian music, and there's question and answer, these are opinions. People ask me, you know, how to live in the United States, how, where to eat, and how to get driver license, how to learn English. These, you know, they ask me questions. And then this video of me just traveling in around the world, travel, uh, food, you know, just eating at various places, um, and then just living in, Key, you know, Miami, Key West, you know, and then, you know, my, uh, party, where I go to a lot of Asian party. So it's really my personal life. And why do I do that? That's how my parents know that I'm still alive. My parents are like, okay, cool. He's back in the United States. Oh, cool. He's he's in London. Cool. He's in Colombia. Oh, he's in China. He's in Korea. He's, you know, so they can watch me and follow me. So if you really care about my personal life, which I don't know why, because I'm, I'm a nobody. I'm really, literally nobody to anybody. Uh, if you really care. Um, now, I know a lot of my ex, man, they, they like to stalk me. They're like, oh, a couple of them, a couple of them is on our they're, they're in YouTube hanging out watching. They're li- watching right now. I can see them. Um, no, uh, you know, hey, guess what? If you want to see that, great. Go pay for it, you know. And so that's essentially the membership. Membership is is for my personal video. And and then the other membership category is for for uh, for the disclaimer. Other than that, man, you don't need to subscribe. You don't have to. You don't have to, please. And then... And you don't have to give me any money, no super chat, no nothing. Because what I want you to do is I want you to get rich. I want you to spend your money on getting rich, not on me. Don't don't give me any money. How I get rich is not through YouTube. It's not through YouTube. How I get rich is through my portfolio. That's how I'm going to get rich, and that's how I want to get rich. I want my friends and family who watch my video and follow me, I want them to see the journey and go through the journey and stuff like that. All right, so that's why I wanna share that with you. And there's no membership required. There's no Patreon, no e-guy, no nothing. We're just gonna talk about how to make money. I'm gonna give you the answer. I get the answer, I'll give you the answer. Maybe that's why those people are, uh, they're, maybe those all those people are just hating on me for that reason, because I'm just giving you the answer. All right, there you go. That's enough on that. Uh, I wanna share that on, uh, on that. Questions. So any questions anybody want to ask before I go into the next topic here? Uh, all you do is uncue your mic and we can have a conversation. Go ahead and uncue it if you have any question for me. Or you can jo- go and post something in uh, YouTube chat and I will try to answer your question. Alright. While we do that. Hey, yeah. Um, hey Rob, what's going on, man? How are you? I'm doing great. Yeah. Um, I just said, I know when I talked to you a couple of weeks ago and, and with uh, Tesla and everything, yeah. um, some of the other um, yield max ETFs that uh, pay pretty good uh, monthly dividends and yeah. stuff like that, or the premiums are real high. Have you looked at any of those other ones too? Oh, I do. I, I look at all of them. All of them. What I do okay. is... I, have, have you done this, Rob? Let me show you. First of all, you can use any any website. I use stock analysis because it's easy because I'm I'm a beginner. Uh, and so I'm not, like Yahoo is very advanced for me. Uh, like what it is, uh, you use it to screen stock. Have you, have you done this where you screen for new? Like I watch this all the time, new launcher. One of the first thing I do is I watch new launcher. I want to see which new funds came out. Like, Crainshare came out with two new funds, and then you know just to see is any new uh, new ETF that's born. There's there's essentially a new one born all the time. So like here's YMAX last week and stuff like that, and here's QQI, another great fund that's born last week. Uh, QQI very good. All right. So the first thing I do is I look at the new fund. 
But have you done this where you screen ETF screener and you look for no, like the high yield and stuff like that? No, I haven't. Oh, I just man. follow. I, a lot of times I, you know, see what you're doing on there and, and yeah. see what some of the other guys post on YouTube. I haven't really checked them out myself. Oh, well, you know, like I say, you, you can always watch people, but I recommend you do it yourself, man. Like learn how to screen stocks. I did not know mm -hmm. how to screen it, but I just I just suffer through it. I just like click on it, play with it, and keep click, click on it because I was determined. And I'm still not very good at it. I'll tell you why this fundamental flaw, just with this screener. Now, remember, they okay, this screener, one thing I like about it, you can just click on this button called dividends, and kabam, it pop right up. You don't have to go to add filter, right? Now, what you want is you you want monthly. See how they have quarterly, monthly, and all that stuff? Uh, like spy pay dividend so it's up there right but you want only money so you want to add filter uh, first of all can you see my screen uh on the uh, yeah screen? i'm 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 watching you on my uh, actual tv too oh okay so so you go out to pay uh you you click on filter and then you scroll down and you look for dividend payout frequency frequency is monthly quarterly annually so it's like okay, i want that Okay. Uh, also, I like I like dividend yield. I like dividend share. Um, I don't care much about the X date, and uh, and then that that's pretty much it. These these three is simple, all right? So now you have okay. these these variable up there. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is you want to sort out all these guys, all right? Not sort. You want to screen. This is a screener. So you're gonna say, okay, I don't want quarterly. I just only want monthly. There's 3,360 ETF that pay dividends. There's only 766 of them pay monthly. Kabam, here you go. These are all monthly ones. All right? Now, okay. now you got to separate by monthly. Now you can do something even better and say, okay, I only want them pay at least a dollar. They got to be at least pay over a dollar. Or you can go, or at least over 1%. <laughs> you know? <laughs> So let's just do yeah. let's just do one dollar. You got to pay at least more than a dollar, all right? Otherwise, we don't want to talk to you, okay? And then, and if you do that, guess what? It's coming out five hundred eight ETF, and you want to do okay? Let's pay over one dollar, all right? So over one percent, over one dollar. That was a basic screen. Now you have all these funds out here, but they're not sorted. They're essentially sorted based on how big the company is. This is the biggest company to the lowest. The lowest ETF, the biggest, the biggest cap to the lowest cap. That's how they sort it right now by default. So you want to do is sort by, you can sort by dividend yield. All right, just click on dividend yield. Kabam, it pop up. These all the company that's, that's all the ETF paid the highest dividends and work all the way down. All right, guess what? Guess what on top? Tesla. Woohoo! Yeah, that's pretty slick. Yeah, and pay eight dollar last year. 93 percent. PFXIX. I don't know what that is. So you can click on it, all right? And you can read about it. You can go like, okay, let's click on PFI. There's Clip. There's OARK. There's Coney. And then there's Global X. There's NVDY and Maxi and QQY, NFly, MD. No, notice a lot of yield max. Yeah. Defiance, TLTW. All right. So you sort it out, and uh, I love all. I I don't I don't know much about PFX PFIX. I don't know this at all. Uh, that's probably look like a. I don't know. I, don't, I have to click on it. But I know Maxi. Maxi is pretty good. That's a Bitcoin strategy. It's like Bitto. Uh, rate is pretty good. That rate is expensive though. It's like I think they paid like two dollar maintenance fee. But I knew, I knew yeah. most of them. TLTW. I used to own them. Uh, Apply. Uh, I don't own Apply, but I you know. Uh, this is bond fund. Uh, these two are bond fund. They blow both BlackRock. They pay good dividends. Notice a lot. This S Volt. Yeah, you just sort them, and then you and then you just click on it and study it. Okay, that's one okay. way to do it. The other way is uh, you can you can sort it by let's say ETF provider. Let's click on ETF. Here's all the ETF provider out there: BlackRock, Vanguard, State Street. And there's a lot of them. Okay, you can sort it by total fund. Here's the biggest one, BlackRock. Yep, First Trust has 230, Invesco has 221, State Street have 137 fund. There's a lot of them out there. All okay. right, and guess where? Guess where? I uh, yield max fall. And yield max, man, they're 54 overall. They have yeah, 20, there's quite a 20, bit on there. Yeah, they're brand new. 
and they're a brand new company. Yeah. They're getting bigger. Uh, Crane Shea is a huge player in Asia. Uh, like, you know, you got, you, these guys are growing. All these high yield yeah. dividends, income ETF, they're, they're growing really, really fast. Okay, so these are different company. You can sort it. If you click on Yield Max now, if you click on Yield Max, here's all the fund that Yield Max own. And you can just sort it out. You can just you can just sort it out by um, by price, stock price, and you can get rid of like price change one year, expense ratio. We don't care about that. And then yeah, if you pay, obviously you get more. I, I this is a free version. Okay, you can sort it by price. Here's here's all the yield max from highest to lowest in price. But you can sort it by asset. Here's the biggest to the lowest. Guess what's the biggest? Tesla. Tesla, Tesla is so yeah. big. It's so big. In other words, if you combine everybody, everybody, Tesla is still bigger than them. This is the biggest. Tesla is yield max flagship. Without Tesla, yield max is not is not the same. It's not it's not gonna be the same. Tesla carry. Tesla alone carry yield max. Just give you perspective on it. That's why when people talk about Tesla, they brush off Tesla like it's like a stepchild. They, they don't look at the numbers. I'm, I'm showing you the numbers. You know what I mean? Tesla, mm -hmm. is, Tesla is their flagship fund. They're not going to throw this away. I'm telling you, if, if Tesla is in danger for whatever reason, which is not... They're not in danger. If Tesla ever in danger, Jay himself would personally gonna manage this fund. I, I guarantee you, he will personally manage this fund because he's not gonna let his company, his company essentially gonna sink because without without if Tesla fail, his company's it's not the same. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, and when you look okay. at numbers like this, I look at this stuff every day. So I. Like I look at Tesla, Tesla every single. There's not a day gone by I have not looked at it, and uh, so so I've been monitoring this thing for a whole year. So I'm very intimately understand the the data, and okay. So here's something interesting: dividend yield. The closest dividend yields. Oh, okay. Now this is the only thing I don't like about the dividend yield measurement. They measure this annually. So obviously, OERK is up here. They they gotta do it where it's monthly. Then then everybody have a fair chance. I wish I wish there's a way to do that. Yeah. Because obviously OERK should not be in this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But but most of these guys are new. You know what I mean? They they just they're just starting out. All right. In my opinion, within the yield max, one of you know I I don't know Rob, you care that want to know these answer or not but no uh, I'm, I'm listening go ahead i'm right. enjoying this go ahead then my opinion the best fund in the yield max family is tesla all right that's number one the second best okay. one is nvdy and the third is connie okay yeah yeah, I mean, I, I I day trade Tesla, or not Tesla, but Tesla yeah. every day, pretty much. I day trade it through the week, and I tried it. NVIDIA, you know, that's a fast-moving stock. You've got to yeah. really be careful when you're trading that one. But I, I know you've always mentioned these as good ones and stuff. So. The, mm. Yeah, well, you you almost can't beat NVD. NVD should yeah. be number one. But the reason why is because Tesla is so cheap. Like yeah. if, if Tesla and NVD is the same price right now, oh yeah, NVD would have been the new king. Yeah. It, it's it's ever since its inception, let's click on it. Ever since its inception, it's been the most stable fund in in the yield max family and it pay a consistent high yield dividend. That's what you want. You want your high yield dividend to pay you high yield at a consistent pace. That makes sense? Yeah, yes, it does. Yeah, not like Tesla, man. Tesla has just been like bouncing all over the place right now. Yeah, but because Tesla, well, is so it's, the same, it's the same with Tesla. You know, it's yeah. you know, it can be like I said when I trade it in the morning when the market opens up, it can be up in the morning and they can turn around and reverse on you super fast. It's just that 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 stock's all over the place too. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah, I I'm a huge fan of NVDY. Uh, you know.
I would put it number one, Tesla wouldn't be number two, but because Tesla is so cheap, you can't ignore the eight dollars, you know, like, like how do yeah. you ignore that? So, and, and so, and then I like Kony a lot because Kony is one of the few fun within the yield max that shows so much resiliency. Like it will go up to $30, like it, it do exactly what you want a high yield dividends to do, you know? Um, no, and then uh, the other one is it's all up for debate, but I like Nfly a lot. Uh, you know, that's that's, that's Netflix, my thing. right? Yeah, that, that's Netflix. And yeah, uh, yeah. and uh, and number five on my list that I like a lot, which I own, um, is SQY. But that literally, number five can be thrown away. Anybody could take that spot easily. AIY could take that spot. Disney can take that spot. Literally, I, I can't stand Disso, but it paid high yield. You want all your high yield dividend to pay high yield dividends. Mm -hmm. uh, but however, we don't know about why Max and why Mag when it came. We don't we don't know what the dividends yet. We have an idea, but we we don't know until I see it. Essentially, these two gonna dethrone dethrone a lot of them. All right, so those those are my five that I like, but the best okay. in in term of ETF in term of ETF the best ETF in my opinion, uh, the best. Okay, number one on my list is IWMY. So I'm going to type it in. Okay. Defines on two of them. That's essentially on the list. IWMY. Uh, it pay a dollar twenty five, a dollar and dollar twenty nine. That's crazy. That number is yeah, crazy, is. dude. And it's eighteen dollar stock. But here's the part I like about it. This is the part that you that you can't go wrong. It it went up to twenty dollar ninety eight cent and it dropped a dollar, and it went up to twenty one dollar and it dropped a dollar, and it, every time it go up, it drop a dollar. Go up, it drop a dollar. That's exactly what you want. <laughs> like oh, unbelievable. Yeah. So number one is IWMY. It, it like can't go wrong, right? Number two, number two, um, this is uh, a lot of people may disagree with this a lot, uh, but I think this is one of the things I agree with Joanna. Number two, as soon as I mentioned Joanna, everybody kind of know what the answer is. Feppy. Feppy is the newest play. It's expensive. It's fifty-six dollars. It's only paid twenty-six cents. But Feppy answer all the high yield dividend dilemma, like like their their pain and suffering. The biggest thing with high yield dividends that people not really happy is there's no grow. It doesn't grow. But but Feppy meet all that answer. Not only it give you growth, but it give you dividends. It give you yeah. dollars. You know. That's nice. Yeah, it's one. Of, it's the best fund right now, in my opinion. This like this is almost better than SCHD and 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 Chepi, Chepi, Chep Y, Chep Q. You know, it's just it's just unbelievable. Feppy, Feppy just dominate. Like I say this might be. And then the third one is Q Q Q Y. Yeah. It's, yeah, I've been hearing a lot about that one too. The Q Q Q Y. Yeah, you can't you can't beat this thing. It's the same. It has the same functional as as IWMY. It go up. And a pay, it go up, and a pay, and uh, it's giving you good high yield dividends, exactly what you wanted, and um, and it's a really, it's a, it's a very stable fund. It's not too crazy like Tesla, uh, but QQY number three. Okay. All right. Cool. And uh, yeah, so these these are because number four and number five, it go back to the yield max. So uh, number four go back to Tesla. And then number my number five, we go back to NVDY. So uh, essentially, but these are the, the best five fund, in my opinion, uh, in terms of you know that generate dividends, growth, and balance everything out. Um, you okay. Know, yeah. What's your take on that? Nice. <laughs> so, like I, I said, I've been watching you, and I I've been you know I I write these down and I follow them off and on just to see what they're doing because. I know Coney didn't that like bottom out to like seventeen dollars. Oh yeah, I like, bought a lot. <laughs> and now, yeah, and then look where it's at right now. Of course, it's running with the you know with the crypto and everything and stuff again. So 
you know, yeah. so it's like I said, people are doom and gloom on these things and they turn around and rip right back up. So Coney is my third, third on my list, man. Yeah. It's third on my um, list. I, I don't even own NVD why I own Coney. So think about that. You know, it's just, yeah. Yeah. I love Coney. Um, you know, uh, have you played it this way? Because first of all, have you talked to the other option trader in our community? Like uh, I, I know what no, I know when I talked to you a couple of weeks ago, I was going to go in there. But in the mornings, a lot of times when I'm following six or seven stocks in a yeah. row, I just, I just honestly, I stay to myself and I'm watching my charts and trading and everything and stuff like that. But I'll, I'll go in there and participate or see what they're doing and stuff. But I haven't yet. Yeah, oh. just uh, why don't you take a screenshot and post your trade in there and ask some question. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And just start with that way and then and then just take a screenshot and ask and then you want to make friends that way. Now they used to be yeah. really active because they like you because they used to be very active in, in general discussion and they just pack themselves in there in the voice channel, but now they just kind of like they go off on their own because what, what what happened in our channel is mostly new people, like new investor. It, it, you got level one World of Warcraft and level eighty World of Warcraft. It's not really <laughs> interchangeable. Makes sense. And yeah. the last thing option trader want to do is in the middle of their trade at nine thirty or ten o'clock is is talking to some new investor, going like, "Hey, what is this option trading? What is this buy? What is this sell? You know, like, dude, yeah. I don't have time to answer your question. Go hang out with Khmer. You go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because like I said, I mean, I got I got two screens going, I got my laptop going, so my like my eyes are all over the place, and yeah. I'm you know in and out of these trades so fast. It's just you know I'm trying to focus on that and everything, yeah. so it gets hectic in the morning when market first gets going and stuff. Yeah. So, but that's the rush of it. You know, you make good money. Yeah. Um, well, a lot of them. I, I, are you doing this now? Because a lot of them, what they do is they buy, they they pack their they essentially park their money in high yield dividends and then they i haven't yet i like i said i know when i talked a couple of weeks ago i was looking all into this but right now i just strictly i got my stocks in my portfolio and i just uh trade options so yeah. i like yeah. to track things for a little bit and then you know and then uh jump in from there and go so yeah essentially I'm that's just, what they do i'm an, they, op yeah. I'm an options junkie person right now <laughs> been yeah. that way for years <laughs> yeah well i don't know no, no, nobody say go change i'm just saying that, that that's yeah. what a lot of the option trader because yeah. we're 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 essentially a perfect marriage because we're buying high yield dividends the only way to make money in high yield dividends is it's it's from option trading we're not doing option trading you know yield max does the option trading but however yeah. you like for example, uh, I'll, I'll give you a good example, like Tesla. If you ever talk to Claude, Claude loved doing this. Uh, now, I don't know how often he does it, but but it seems like every time I talk to him, he does it. So let me go let me go to Tesla real quick. All right. So Claude, instead of doing, you know, he just he just uses J numbers. So like for example, there's a, there's a bet on 195 right now. There's a cover call for 195 on Tesla. That's very risky. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. to? Yeah, very risky. Yeah. Yeah. For those who are like, what are you talking about risky? Okay, well, let me show you what Tesla price is right now. Tesla price is 188 or 87. But this morning at 10 o'clock, it was 194. <laughs> yeah. This, this trade is 195. Closing, then the closing price of yesterday, uh, uh, on Friday, Today's the 12th. On Friday, the closing was, uh, what was the closing on Friday? I can look it up. I got it because I follow Tesla. Yeah. You want the stock price what it closed at? Yeah. Uh, previous close, 193. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Is that what you got? Yeah, because let me see here. Let me pull my sheet from Friday. Yeah. Sorry. So, um, yeah, 193, it closed at 193.57 on Friday. Yeah, so they closed 193, and Yield Max opened a new cover call strategy for next week, 195. That is crazy. Yeah. That is crazy. And, and how many share are you going to be like, okay, well, 
you know, for us amateur, we're doing like we were doing like one share or two, you know, one contract or two contract, you know. Uh, I think Sam is the only one who's doing like a hundred contract because he's super rich. But but look at this. One ninety five seven million dollars. Well, I, I know. <laughs> That's crazy. Talk about gambling, man. You, okay, so why did I tell you all this? Because Claude, he would use yield max trade. So he's like, oh, so Jay and his boy put 195 contract. They must have known something that I know. And guess what? He played about, he played like another one or two percent off that money, off 195. So he would put yeah. like he would put like 197, 198, and collect that premium. So he used them. He used these guys as a gauge, as a gauge measure, like as a uh, indicator. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know. Well, like I said in the news over the weekend, with him lowering his pro car prices again, I don't think didn't help neither. So, yeah. you know, it's just it's it's like everything. Everything's news driven. Um. <laughs> Oh my God, Tesla is just getting a beating. I, I, I wish, I wish. It after I, after I saw the Super Bowl ads uh, on Tesla, the anti-Tesla ad. I I just kind of like, come on, Elon. You know, at some point, man, just just don't worry about it. Focus on make Tesla yeah. great. Don't worry. Don't yeah. don't get into politics. Just focus on on Tesla. Just make it a great company. Get those robot going. Get those Tesla going, and then once you like super trillion dollar, once you big, once you beat Apple, then go and then tweet all you want, man. Then then do what you want to do. But right now, man, you you are on the brinks of, like, there's just too many. You got the um, the administrations after you. You got the media after you. You got other car company want to see you fail. Like everybody want to see you fail except me. Like I'm wearing your hat. Like I'm your biggest supporter. Like it seems like everybody wants you to fail except me. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's it's not going anywhere. Every company has its hiccups, you know. Yeah. So it'll 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 rebound. It's, you know, uh, Michael Jordan said, "Hey man, even even Republican uh, buy wear my sneak. Oh, buy his sneaker." <laughs> they asked him a political question. He said, and he said something like that. I forgot what his exact, exact quote. He said, "Even Republican, even even uh, Republican uh, buy my sneakers." So he's he he doesn't discriminate. He doesn't he doesn't care. Like, you know, he's he's apolit. What he's saying, he's apolitical because he's here to sell sneakers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then once you win six six all time NBA basketball world championship, then you can talk all you want. But when you try, yeah. when you start off, you're a young freshman from North Carolina, then you, then do, then you just shut up and sell shoes you until you become something special, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's crazy. Okay. Well, thank you for your time tonight. I appreciate it again. And um, uh, man, you're, all, you're always welcome, man. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I, like I said, I'm, I'm, I, I know, like I said, I, I follow what you, you know, your things and everything, how you're doing. That's pretty slick too with your drip method, what it's gonna crank for you and stuff. That's pretty cool. Oh man, it's moving really fast. Yeah, I wish That's I could amazing. speed up. You know, a year take a long time. Like, man, oh I yeah, I, I wish I can speed up. There's nothing stopping yeah. it. This is the part that's crazy. Yeah. If I, if you know, I'm in the military. If I get deployed tomorrow, and I don't come back. I just put it to auto drip and I can be on a ship somewhere. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. I come back and kabam. My money yep. is, my money will be exactly where it's supposed to be in according to the Excel spreadsheet. Yeah. Well, just don't break your foot tripping over your wallet with all that money in it. So <laughs> no, that's what, that's, that, that's what my girl's for, man. I'm going to give it all yeah. to her. Yeah. <laughs> What about you? You got you got someone? You got someone in your life? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I got my girlfriend and my son and everything and stuff. So there you, go, you man. know, I'll have them. I'll have them set up and stuff. You know, um, because my son's. You know, I'm like I said, he's he's a lot. My son will be 22 this year. I'll be turning 60. Mm -hmm. So, I'll do, you know, something where I can start for him for 
him for now and just let this thing, you know, snowball over 30 years for him and he'll be sitting pretty good. Um, May I please define... I just, like I said... Yeah. I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, and I was just reading some somebody in YouTube say, please define millionaire as you see it. What? How do you huh? define a millionaire? I guess... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of question is that, dude? <laughs> Crack kills. I don't know. <laughs> a millionaire. I mean, you 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 have a million dollars of asset or yeah, something. Yeah, a have millionaire. To have a million. Yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. I guess if you don't have a million, you're not a millionaire. Uh -huh. How about total assets? Total asset, including property, rental, boats, and all that stuff. Everything. Total asset. All right. I guess that's fair. But a lot of people have yeah. asset, but they don't have cash. Yeah. I'm going after cash. I'm trying to get a million dollars worth of cash, which is totally different. I'm trying to be a drug dealer in the world of high yield dividends, man. <laughs> you know, it's nice owning a house, but at the same time, it's a lot of upkeep and, yeah. and things like that, you know? Well, mm. that's why I got out of the rental property business. Yeah. Yeah. How many How many properties did you own? Oh, a lot. At, at one point. Oh, did you? Yeah. But I sold all gone now. Yeah, I know my niece, her husband, um, he has a lot of properties in Chicago and he's unloading them because it sounds like it's getting to be a real hassle. Mm -hmm. so, what? You and you know, the crazy thing is he, uh, I think three years ago, he uh, did an Airbnb out there in Montana and it still isn't done yet. So the, just the builders just been screwing them around. Um, my dad was talking about trying my dad is a builder you know he he he, mm -hmm. he, he does construction and all that stuff I, I love him man he this guy can fix anything yeah i i invite him to to my house all the time because every time he come to my house he would he come with his work truck and he would just fix stuff he would just sit around and just fix stuff i don't know if, and because i'm not handy you know and he would yeah. just find flaws and he's like oh you need to do this and he just do it you know he just wake up and just do stuff and, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll tell you what, back in 93, I had a new house built, knew nothing about it. Oh, you built but it? I'll tell you what, it, it was, it was six months of headaches, you know, I mean, it went smooth. I just remember, you know, my builder and the attorney, the bolt that said, you know, you got to be out there at the job site every day, making sure things are done right. And you know what you're paying for and everything. So I was trucking out there every day to make sure my house was being done right at the time. Dude, you know, how's it look now? Oh, I mean, I, I I sold it. I sold it four years later, and then I'm in a you know a newer home now where I live. But it just you know it, it's still it was a learning process. Yeah. You don't realize how much goes into you know a house being built and all the decisions you got to make. You, you, know? you know. You know what I want always want to do? Um, I want to own um, a good you know five ten acres, and I want to yeah. build my own house. Like I want to build it. Me and my dad, I want to be yeah. like a father and son kind of project. Get a, you know, we'll get a mobile home so we can stay there. And then yep. what we'll do is we'll, we'll cut the tree. We're going to graze the land and build the foundation. And it's just me and him. Now, my dad, my dad can do all that. He literally can build a house by himself, you know. And, and, yeah. And he's that good. But, but I told him, I said, hey, you, you know, I'll be your labor, you know, like, it's one of the one of my plan. After I retired, I want to do that. But the thing is, the of me doing that, I, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna buy a house. I'm just gonna go buy a ten acre with a lot of backyard and with a, with a big house. That's you know. I mean, I, I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna. I want to do that, but the reality is, I'm just gonna go buy a big acre and then just just live off the land that way. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, because and you know, it's just. It's it's very idealistic, but it's a lot of labor intensive. You know, it's like, you know, like. Uh, plus, my dad's getting old. I'd rather him come over and just enjoy the house and live. You know, play pool in the basement. Yeah. You know, but instead of trying to build, build something. <laughs> yeah. Because even my first house was over three thousand square foot, and it was just me and my uh, wife at the time. Yeah. And we're like looking at each other because we really we weren't going to have kids for a while. And we're like. Why do we build such a big home? You know, it was a lot of cleaning. Even though it was a brand new house, you still had to clean it. You yeah. know. <laughs> well, and I was like, why did I? Why well, did I do this? But I'm definitely. 
I I'm definitely wants to go back. I'm, I want to go to Cambodia. Yeah. Uh, I gotta. I'm gonna buy a house uh, or build a house, and then I'm gonna get a, a, a I'm gonna get a driver and a maid. You know, and cook. Now my my girl told me like, yeah, you can get a maid, but she better be older than 50 years old. <laughs> I was like, I didn't I didn't understand what she was talking about until like like a few days later. I was like, what what are you talking about? Why why did, why does age matter on a maid? I don't get it. Well, I, yeah. I don't know, you know. So, anyway, so I was like, okay, fine. I want to get a, you know uh, somebody who cook, clean, and all that stuff, and then I want to get a driver. So I, I don't like driving in places. And um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I'll tell you, it. Um, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna probably end up doing it because, dude, I'm gonna make like. I mean, the here's the part of people don't understand: the dividend income is not even my retirement plan. This is something I made for YouTube video to show people how to get rich. Like, yeah, you know, I'm I'm getting retirement plan. I'm getting you know, you know, uh, um, I'm getting pension, my retirement, and all the other money coming in. This is just video. The purpose of me making YouTube video, <laughs> and I'm already making, I'm already make double my salary already. I'm almost not not double, but I'm close to. My salary is ten thousand a month, so I'm all I'm, I'm heading toward making my salary, and uh, and I don't even need the money. I don't even need you some money. Like I was telling my girl, man, whoever, man, I tell I keep telling people all the time, whoever married me is gonna be a very lucky girl, because this is like yours. Like I I I'm giving the money to you, man. Like I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm once I get this income, that ten thousand dollars a month, I don't need it because I already have money aside. I'm just gonna say, well, yeah. that's, that's gonna be your salary. That's that's it. You go there. You go for hanging out with me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going. To, well, I'm have going, a good night. Yeah. Take care, Rob. Thanks for sharing, man. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I always enjoy watching your your live streams and stuff like that. Um, Thanks. I appreciate it, man. Oh, you're very welcome. Khmer, uh, uh, Khmer going to live rich life in Cambodia. Yes. Um, no, I, you want know, to hear something funny, man? Um, uh, I have never... If you if you go eat lunch and dinner with me, you will never should have to pay. I, I have never ever, you know, like group dinner, whatever, I, I always pay. I it, Like the one thing I, I just don't... I don't negotiate the price. Like ancient dude food, people don't understand that the one uh, psychology, I don't know what they call it, like the one phobia I have is fear of starvation. Because I grew up in a killing field, you know, so I, I, I starve. I grew up not having food and I starve. And I came to America and I, I, I hate that feeling of starvation, like not having food. So as I got older, once I earned money, once I had made enough money, I always just pay, like didn't matter what it is. I. If somebody if somebody complain about food, if you go out on a date with me and you complain about food, that's the last time I hang out with you. If you if, whether you're a guy or girl, it doesn't matter. If you hang out with me as a, my friend and you complain about food, it's usually the last time I hang out with you because I don't I don't complain about food. I enjoy food no matter what it is. As long as somebody work on it, somebody cook it, I will just sit there and eat and savor it. I love the taste of it. I like going to my stomach. And I like poop out of it, you know. I just I like the whole process of food. I feel like I, I'm alive. Like every time I eat, I feel like I'm alive. And then to hear somebody complain about the food, man, I don't want to hang out with that person at all. I, I usually run away from that kind of people. And so therefore, every time I every time the bill come, I just pay. I just like I was like, just give me the bill, I give my card, and I walk away. And I don't want to look at the price. I don't care how much it costs. I just I just want to eat the good food, you know. And um, yeah, but it's crazy. Uh, I've been doing that. I've been doing that for my whole life, you know. As, as and I, I enjoy that aspect of it. Um, but um, yeah. Anyway, thank you, Spanland. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, all right. So, anyone else have any questions? Let me let me timestamp this. All right. Hey, Camille, how you doing? 
I'm doing great. Uh, who, who is this, Chevy? This is Shell. A uh, Shell. Hey, what's going on, brother? Hey, man. Hey, I'm I'm proud of you, my brother. I'm retired U.S. Army Sergeant First Class. Oh, say that so. Hey, hey you... man. It's gonna be lovely once you get out. Oh yeah. And uh, you continue doing what you're doing. Yeah. It's gonna be great, man. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. Hey, have you heard a video where I where I one of the things that frustrate me the most is how soldier. Um, uh, have you heard of that? When my opinion on on the soldier? No. Oh, let me share it to you for sergeant. Let me let me share you this. You're gonna love this. You're gonna love this. So I do a lot of traveling, and you know when I travel, I wear my unit shirt. You know, I'm very proud of being a marine. So I, I wear you know marine hat, whatever, and you know just my my gear, my my you know. And I'm in the airport, and I'll tell you what frustrates me most about like soldiers, sailors, airmen, and when they meet the marines, and you know I'm trying to get a drink, or, you know drinking or eating my food, my lunch, and they would sit there and they're like, hey, you're you a Marine? I said, yeah, yeah, I'm a Marine. What about you? Oh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm with uh, Third ID, you know, like, oh, really? I, I serve with them, you know, awesome. And we have good conversation. And then they always say, they always say something like this, and then this, this would frustrate me. They will say, oh man, you know, I wish I joined the Marine Corps, you know, I wish I was a Marine. I'm like, dude, why? Why do you say things like that? I don't understand. Let me, let me give you perspective, dude. First of all, you are in the greatest fighting force in the world, the U.S. Army. The U.S. Army is the, in the history of, hum, in the history of humanity, the United States Army is the, is the best land forces that the human being ever seen. And, and you, you are in one of the greatest fighting forces. Why would you not be proud of being a soldier? Be proud of it, man. Don't, don't, don't tell me, don't tell a Marine that you want to be a Marine. You know, that's disappointing. You should be proud of being a soldier, dude. <laughs> I, well, I'm going to tell you, I'm a country boy from Georgia. Yeah. And the United States Army paid the way for me. Yeah. I, I'm 53 years old and I've been retired now. I retired in 2008. Yeah. And that's awesome, man. I, I, I live in Florida as well. I've been watching your channel for a while. Yeah. But I, you know, I, I had, I done had, um, I didn't know how to utilize all the, all the, all this technology here. Yeah. So I've been playing around with it. <laughs> did Did you? Uh, are, are you? Are you? Uh, uh, the, what, what's the infantry? Uh, or what, what's your MOS? No, I was 88 Mike. I was transportation. Okay, that's awesome, man. See, I love that. I love that. Yeah, and my last assignment, I was a recruiter in Daytona Beach. And, oh, you know, I had a lot of, man, I love a Daytona. Lot of friends, Dude, a lot how do you get that job? The, huh? <laughs> now that's a hard job. <laughs> recruiter you in know, Daytona? You, know sir? you you tell it, you 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 hit it right on the head. You know what I'm saying? I've been out, I've been out in the mainstream army. Um, you know, I was in the INT, uh, yeah. this training, the IT environment, yeah. you know, but being a recruiter, yeah. that was one of the hardest tasks that I, I had the whole 20 years in the army. Oh, wow. Wow. See, the biggest thing is you can't control whether someone joined or not. Yeah. Yeah. But your chain of command is applying that pressure to you about we need recruits. We need recruits. And, 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 uh, they categorize everybody by your education, um, your, 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 your yeah. age, everything, yeah. it, it play a role in there, you know? And wow. each branch, each branch has their own criteria that you must meet to yeah. join, you yeah. know? You got to have certain test scores on the ASVAB. Yeah. It, it was a lot. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm coming out, I went out on recruiting duty as an E7. And, wow. you know, your first, your first recruit, you think you got it going on till you peel back the onion and find out, oh, they, they hot. They, they been smoking weed. You know? <laughs> you know, it's just so many things out there, but I was good at it. I put in, I think I put in 85 people, um, in the army. I put in like yeah. seven of that 85, seven warrant yeah. officers, a couple of, uh, commission officers. Yeah. But well, uh, I was good at it. Well, congratulations. That's impressive. Bro. Yeah, it, it's very impressive. What uh? Yeah, what do you do? What do you do for work now after you retired? I mean, well, 
one of my partners, you know, like I say, I had a transportation background, and uh -huh. what we done, we done government contracts, okay, uh, transporting disabled veterans to and from their doctor's appointments. We had like twenty five uh, government contracts across the United States. I just resigned from that, so now I'm just doing this dividend thing. Man, this is crazy, man. You can't make nobody do what they, you know, what you're saying. You could only put it out there and let them decide what they're gonna do. But I can show you right now. Mm -hmm. I'm get, I'm getting, I'm, I'm pulling in over thirty grand a month. Wow, this, this is crazy, man. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's out of control. That's awesome. So, so what, what, what got you interested? In, and uh, how, I mean, how do we found each other? Uh, like you, you, when you searching for like. How to make money one day or do you like found us? Well, I'm I'm always I'm always looking at things trying to do better. What yeah. can I do to to make money yeah. without without sweating? You know what I'm saying? 20 years in the army. Yeah. I worked seven years for social security um as a as a as a service rep slash claims rep. Yeah. Like when you file for social security, retirement disability, I was one of those people you would see and I would take your claim. I did that until i left to go work with my, my 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 partner i did that for like what seven see about seven years yeah and now like i say a couple of weeks ago i resigned from that you know it come a point where you just get tired of working you know yeah, and that's that's, that's where i'm at and with, without making all this money in dividends man you know it don't make sense to work you, you're just paying the government you know yeah, that, that's one thing I love about uh, passive income, like what we're going after. It's literally, truly passive income, and and you you don't have it, you're gonna get paid no matter what you do, whether you're on vacation, whether you're traveling, eating, or whether you're in jail. It didn't matter. You're gonna get paid, and um, and and that's why I love this route. Did did you were you an investor before, or you are you are you kind of thinking about it now? No, well, um. In, when I was stationed in Germany, I, I taught around with, you know, with science and technology stuff. Yeah. With, with Back in the day, USAA used to, let, you know, have an investment to within their, yeah, within yeah, their, yeah, uh, yeah. their program. I, 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 that's why I tell people all the time, USAA have an investment. They, you, they just have a brokerage. Yeah. yeah. I had that in like in, in, in what, what was that? In 20, yeah. uh, uh, I left Germany in 2000. So, around 20 yeah around 2000 man i i lost i lost by fifteen thousand dollars i was like oh god what how do you lose it's 15, how, how do you lose you know the science and technology stocks it, it kind of took a nose dive yeah yeah and and i was caught up in that but i you know i just slowed down and i just kept going you know keep investing and then when i got with social security i got that tsp yeah. And they do matching funds, so I was just I was maxing all that out, you know. Yeah. And now, you know, uh when when USAA they got rid of that investment part of it. So it, some of it went to Charles uh, Schwab. Vic <laughs> yeah, Charles Schwab and Victory Capital. Yeah. So what I done was I just I just had everything. I started pooling everything from TSP uh uh Victory Capital, other little things I had and put everything in Charles Schwab and you know just watching youtube and i came upon you and yeah. i was like you know what he breaks a lot of things down in the lamest terms so everybody can understand and it's 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 not a job it seems like it's fun you know what i'm saying yeah that's why and, i do it i have a job already i have a full-time job uh, and, and in july of last year <laughs> i was in i was me and my wife every two years we go to germany yeah and you know, vacation. We was in South Korea, just go, just just enjoying life, you know. And last July, I I, I was in Germany yeah. and I had uh, my iPad and I was just thumbing through investment stuff, and I I saw Tesla. Yeah. And I just I just went all in, just like you. I went all in on Tesla. I got I got over what nineteen thousand shares of Tesla. That Dude, joke paid me. Yeah. I think the first time it paid me like like nine thousand dollars and you know it started to taper off as the the, the, the funds start you know decreasing in, in value but mm -hmm. i ain't selling nothing Don't, and, and yeah. i start buying 
all these other uh, what you can do yeah. is keep dca and down but don't don't yeah. dude you're making nine thousand a month why would you sell that that's that's, that's crazy no i ain't selling nothing man yeah. I, I see every month man i'm i'm getting 31 dollars for doing nothing yeah man i ain't going nowhere dude yeah we could be fine uh, i knew the answer i i knew that i knew that answer when i first came online on scene you know like i i way back in january of last year i was like yep that's the fun that's 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 how that's how i'm gonna get rich that's, and, and you just like what you said yeah. tesla it, it may it may have dipped down but tesla ain't going nowhere nope so i'm, I'm in for the long haul man like i say i retired from the army yeah 100 from the va yeah that's one thing you got to focus on right there why before you get out man get your va stuff straight yeah it's good right now i'm good yeah, yeah. And, and 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 once i once you know i got that and man it's 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 it's, 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 it's this is could not believe this man <laughs> i had to pinch myself to make sure this was correct yeah god bless you man i'm glad i'm glad well, first sergeant, I'm glad to get a chance to talk to you. Yeah, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to, you know, when you, when you, when you, um, when y'all alone here, I'm gonna try to link on so I can, you know, stay abreast of what's going yeah. on, man. You, uh, dude, you know, the community, the all of us here, uh, th there's no membership or anything like that. There's no, there's no bylaw, no rule. It's just all of us hang out. So when I retired, I'm gonna go to Texas. So Padma is hosting the house. Uh, she's gonna have a block party. I'm gonna help her. I'm gonna pay some money too. I'm gonna help her out. And she's gonna have a block party, and we're all coming in. We're all gonna meet each other, all of us. And then, uh, and then I'm gonna do my my sworn, uh, well not sworn, <laughs> my my retirement ceremony. Oh my god, I have flashback like woo boot camp, uh, map center, you know. And then uh, retirement uh, ceremony, and then after that, we're gonna we're gonna chill, man. We're gonna meet with each other. We're, we're, yeah, plan, we're planning to have a meeting. We're all gonna meet. It's in Houston, though. And Houston. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm gonna drive. I'm gonna drive my. Uh, wait, is it Houston or Dallas? I, I forgot where Patma's at. Patma, you here? Oh, she left. Oh. Hey, Patma, if you can hear me, we. <laughs> I think it was Houston. Can somebody confirm me? If Patma's in Houston or Dallas? Now I just blank out. I don't know why. I, I think. I think it's in Houston. Yeah, but well, we're gonna we're gonna go there. Um, yeah. yeah, come join us. Yeah, man, I ain't no telling. I you know as as the time go, get yeah. closer to that time. What money is it? Oh, we it's it's some it's probably summer some, during the summertime, like June, July, okay. or something like that. All right. Well, I ain't gonna make no promises right now. But as we get <laughs> well, we're talking about that, years yeah. from now, not 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 this summer. We're talking about a couple oh. years. Yeah, when, when I retired, right. yeah, when I'm officially out of. Yeah. Hey, you gonna feel you you ain't gonna you gonna be amazed at how you gonna feel when you walk across that stage and they give you your flag, <laughs> and and then you're not gonna know what to do with yourself, man, because you know you used to, used to that fast paced life and ain't nothing you gonna find out here in the civilian world that compare to that fast paced lifestyle in the military. Yeah, yeah. You miss it sometime? No, I miss the people that you meet along the way, yeah. but the craziness of the military, I don't miss that. I don't miss moving every two, three years. Yeah. You know, I don't miss that at all. I, I feel the same way. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think about the army on the first of the month, man. <laughs> <laughs> Well, God bless but you. it was it was a life changing a life changing event for me. You know, it 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 it, it paved the way for me, and, and yeah. like now, life is life is good. My chest my chest just needs to rise and fall every day. That's it. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Shirt. Uh, it's good to see you, and uh, yeah, that's awesome, man. I love it. I love it. That's 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 to me a great great conversation. Yeah, man. Hey. In, in, anybody that I can help, you know, that's coming out of the military, I'm all for that. I, I put people in, and hey, I will help them on the other end with with my advice or with my experiences that I that I've you know came across 
but um the, the the hard part is over with man you fin you finna step out on faith now yeah that's yeah. awesome that's awesome well that, that, that was fun that was a fun conversation i like that <laughs> oh okay yeah. uh interesting uh i appreciate that so much you know this is this is a fun day today um you know we we will we do this every Sunday and then we do live stream yeah we do live stream on Sunday and Thursday and we talk about all kinds of subjects obviously because I'm military we tend to talk a lot about military and see stories and all that stuff and then but what I want to talk about all the time every time is making money high yield dividends uh, because it, it's one of the best way it's the fastest way to generate income and uh, you know living proof. You can talk to any of these Discord member, any of these court, anybody here. Right. I can tell you that this, this is, this is, this is the way to go. No, no sweat involved. You, if you once you put the money there, it just got to, you know, do his, do his thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Clarence Edwards said, "I just retired very early. I got to say, the first two weeks I was bored. Now I'm loving life." I just look. I just booked eight crews. <laughs> Clarence, like, he's just like, what are you doing? Like, are you going on one of those single single crews, uh, sing, uh, single people crews? That's funny. What is? Yeah. I don't know. Me, I fly anywhere in the world you want to fly. I I just don't do boats. That ain't my thing. <laughs> yeah, that's why you're in the army. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> I, I love boats, man. I, I spent many years on ships, so it's, it, it can be lonely though. Sometimes you're sitting there and you're going like, "Man, what's going on with the world?" And all you see is nothing but just vast emptiness, and it's loud. And ship ship is just loud. It's just noisy. It and it's smelly, stinky. You're just smelling jet fuel all day. It's just yeah. Yeah, wait till you have to ride the ship with your equipment going to a deployment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I did. I did. I did Delta Storm. That was back. That was I did Bosnia. Um, I had enough deploy. I had I had three combat patches. That's enough for me. Wow. Well, you guys pave a way for people like me, man. Well, I, you know, I other I, I can't do anymore, man. I I am I am so over the war. I am so over. You have no idea how much over. I it's just like I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> well, if it ain't it ain't fun no more, it's time to it's time to throw in the towel, man. Yeah. I don't I don't see I, it. I was, you know, when, when I was, was younger, 35, I when I was younger, I see war as a very idealistic, very I romanticize it. You know, I romantic size, rom romanticize it. That is some kind of like like you you out there, you're gonna go rescue the princess from the dragon somehow, and you're gonna save. You know, you, you're running out and save like kids. You know, and and you you have this image of what war is supposed to be, and then and then after many years in it then you like like you, it, it's just kind of like man let's not do that again <laughs> no yeah, i don't I want no parts of it man because you know you never know kamir you know yeah. later in life man some of the things that you see yeah you know it may it may affect you later in life you know you never know how that's going to work out so just pray that you know everything's good and you know you make it to the end and, and 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 move on with your life man you know yep yep henry how's it going do you want to say something i'm sorry uh, uh bill uh, henry just on cue is mic, so i thought he wanted to say something henry do you, henry can you hear me all right uh so henry got his mic off but he can't hear me so go ahead bill uh I... Yeah, just uh, anybody out there that's prior service or, and they get to that point where they're low and think they 
there's no way out, go get help. By all means, get the help you need to get over that situation. Yes, that's true. The VA got a lot of programs that, that will help you. You know, a lot of us just, you know, always refuse to ask for help. That's the wrong answer. You know, you you need help. You need to go talk to people. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's just uh, when you retire and you think you should be able to get a certain job and you find out that you really don't have the qualifications for those employers to uh, uh, accept your resume. You get down on that side as well, I did. And then I got over it and I started my own business. So I'm happy now. <laughs> yeah. I, I tell you another thing too, and this just my own opinion. Mm -hmm. I feel like um, whatever your MOS is, Kamir, mm -hmm. who gonna teach you anything about that now? You just got to figure out if you want to work. You got to figure out how to convert that military terminology into civilian, and 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 the things that you know and learn about your job. It stands. It stands true in the civilian sector if you know how to translate it. Yeah. I know my job. It, it was. It was. It was. It was the same. You know. And who gonna teach you some about leadership? You got twenty years of leading all kinds of people. Nobody gonna teach you anything about leadership. Yeah. You just have to find a way to translate your terminology to the civilian terminology in order for you know the uh to be effective that's the hardest part right there yes it is well i appreciate all these advice man look at these guys man that's awesome uh cream you you uncue your mic did you want to say something cream all that all the cream yeah i was just going to ask you chev if you could Talk a little bit about like the stocks and things that you own that's making you making you the money. Okay. Yeah. I have, I, I, oh, I I'm sorry, Chef. Have, have you done the? Have you seen when we do the portfolio review? Uh, you take a screenshot and we all look at your portfolio. Have you ever done that? Um. No. Yeah. Just watch any of the Thursday video. You can see it that we do the portfolio review. Uh, but yeah, go, uh, yeah. Cream want to know, you know, your how do you get thirty thousand dollars a month, man? <laughs> like, what's what's your investment? What's your investment? Hold on a second. Let me let me get in there. Yeah, I recommend on Thursday, man. Hey, screenshot your your portfolio and. Uh, All right. Okay, summary. Okay, I got SCHD, QQQY, VU, Tesla, Clip, IWMY, Jeppy, OARK, Coney, QQQM, NVDY, VOOG, and I got some USAA, um, old mutual funds yeah that's it yeah that's and, and 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 i'll tell you what like i got schd i got the uh, 3500 of those qqy wow. at 11291 vu i got 407 tesla i got 19820 clip i got 8600 IMW five thousand two hundred sixty. Wow. Jeff twelve hundred and twenty seven. Dude, that's why you're making thirty thousand a month. You got like five thousand IWI. <laughs> I'm 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 uh, one point one point five. <laughs> that's that's pretty good for us uh E seven, I think. What you think, Camille? Yeah, sound real good. Sound real good. Twenty almost twenty thousand Tesla. Yeah. Oh my God. The 20,000 Tesla is unbelievable. But I you know, wish like I would have. You got SCHD like I do. Yeah. He got a lot of SCHD also, but it doesn't pay good yield. But, but however, he got 
good SHD, good amount. Yeah, the, 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 what I gather about this whole ordeal, man, you got you got to get your your share count up. Yeah, that's what we've been preaching about all the time. You just get as much share as you can, man. Just get as much share as you can. My wife, she be fussing. Oh, Tesla going down. I said, my, I told her, this is my analogy to her. I was like, okay, look at the way we used to invest. All right? And look at what we're doing now. They don't compare. I don't want to wait 30 years for my money. I want to yep. see it now. Yeah, this is all new type investment. It's a new type. It's only been around a year and one year. It's not even that old. So it's just a different way of looking at the world. You know, you're, you're, you're getting cash. You're getting $30,000 a month cash flow. $30,000 a month. That's how you need to look at it from that perspective. That's yeah. Nice. She don't complain when she see them dividends hit that check and hit that, hit that account. <laughs> that killed all that. <laughs> That's what, that's I what I said too. You know, I got, I got tons of hater, man. There are people hating on me. And every time I get paid, like last week, I got paid by Tesla, man. It, it's just like, yep, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I had the same discussion with my daughter over the weekend too. And I sat down with them, yeah. both of my daughters, and we had an investment meeting. And she says, I've been watching this Tesla drop all month. And says, well, it'll go back up. <laughs> yeah. And I uh, discussed, you know, you know, the difference between the two stocks that I had. That one that paid the same amount of dividend one was fifty dollars, and that Tesla's paying nine dollars. Now tell me, which one you're gonna buy now? They agreed. Oh man, wait until wait until I, I see. I went through I went through the good old day with Tesla. I went through with Tesla was paying a dollar and ninety cents and eighty five cents. So. Trust me, a lot of us went through it, and those days were good. They were good, and and we we can't wait to get that coming back. And it's easy. Tesla can come back easily. You know. Yeah, I'm. I, hey, I can't wait. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be killing it once it come back. Oh yeah. Okay, um, I do have a question for you. For me or for for Chevy? For, for you, come here. Okay. I have two different brokerage accounts, one with Robinhood and one with Weeble. Right. I find that Robinhood is more responsive than Weeble, but I was wondering if you can describe the the benefit and uh, advantages of uh, doing the, uh, I guess, the watch and use with Charles Schwab. Oh. Well, I, I never I never use I never use any other type of brokerage except Charles Schwab. Now I only listen to other people talking about it through Weibo and Robinhood. Uh, it seems like Weibo has a lot of issue. The only good thing about Weibo that people mentioned so far that I've been hanging out is the uh, research tool. They they have one of the best stock trade research uh, apps. Uh, but Robinhood has just been very friendly for for new beginners. So every time somebody start a new fund, I always tell people go go buy Robinhood. It's easy, dude. It's really really easy. Uh, Charles Schwab is not user friendly. Uh, it's not it's not for new people. I struggle with Charles Schwab because you it's 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 based on like an Excel spreadsheet essentially. It's not the I. The UI, the in, the user interface, is not designed to be uh, colorful like Robinhood. Very easy. Now, I uh, I use uh, another another one that's similar to Robinhood, but it's uh, Acorn. So when I was playing with Acorn, man, it's simple. Like I literally could understand what was going on through the phone. But Robin, uh, but. Charles Schwab is not friendly in that regard at all. I wish I, I log out, but I wish I could log in and show you. There's like three, four things that you want to know all the time. Charles Schwab, it doesn't give you intuitively right there. You have to search for these things. You have to click on other button and, and they don't interact. So you don't know what you're clicking on. The biggest thing I don't like about Charles Schwab, the biggest thing is because I'm a YouTuber and I record my video, it cannot, for some, for the life of me, it does not know how to hide the, the account number. 
it is one of the dumbest feature in in the account uh, in account. You can't hide your personal information and your account feature. They just assume that they just assume that you want to see this, and only you gonna be watching this. Nobody else in the room watching this. They they should have ability to hide it. All right, that's number one. Number two, all those tab is irrelevant because they don't really communicate to each other. It's just kind of like, it's like a tap on Excel spreadsheet, but doesn't explain why you tap in or out. What's the purpose of it? You know, essentially when people want to know is what is their portfolio, current state, you know, and what is their market and what is the, the you know, what is the cost differences? They want to see those things, but it doesn't correlate with each other. And, and the way they calculate dividends is yucky, man. It's really, really yucky. I'd rather use this. Like, this is a lot more accurate. This gave me 6000 And then Charles Schwab gave me 8000 Like, what the frick? How do you, how you mess $2,000? I don't get it. But, you know, and then, so how they calculate dividends, yucky. I don't trust any of their uh, analytical skill. I don't trust Charles Schwab any ability to analyze any stock. They, get, they have a rating, A, B, C, D, and F. They give Tesla an F rate. This is, you know, be, before I, you know, before I was just, yeah, I agree with them. So I'm looking at all the A stock, the B stock. I'm like, oh, I like these stock. I like these stock. They're all good. Until I look at Tesla uh, a few months ago and I, I, I almost gurgitated my food. I mean, it's so disgusting. So they give Tesla an F rating. And the reason why they got an F rating because the ESG score. The ESG score is F. Right? That's why Tesla is an F in, in Charles Schwab. Okay, and then you look at Neo because I own Neo, and you look at Neo and they give Neo a C. Neo is located in China. It's the more, probably one of the most polluted country in the world. It's probably provide more toxicity to the to the planet than any other country combined. And and yet they gave that company a C. <laughs> and his Tesla located in Texas is under regulation, US regulation. And you think they would get like a maybe a B or something? No, they gave an F. That's when I. That's when I. That's when Charles Schwab credit. The way they analyze thing is, it's stupid. It's it's just so I I, I take no, uh, I you know it's it's one of their downfall. It, one of the reason they don't know this. One of the reason why Charles Schwab people abandon ship leaving Charles Schwab because they're just stupid. Just. Things like that, right? Why would I want to put money into a company that can't even do basic rating or something? And, and they're so biased on their rating. It's so extremely biased that nobody wants to invest in your portfolio. And nobody wants to put money in your bank because they can't trust it. They can't trust what you do. Um, you know, the only thing I like about Charles Schwab, this is the only, re this, the only, just think about it, like there's a million less. The only reason I like Charles Schwab Number one, USAA has a partnership with Charles Schwab. And so it's a bank, but it's not even my only reason. The only reason is their customer service. I call Charles Schwab on the phone. 90% of my activity is done through the phone. I talk to them trying to figure out what's going on. And, and they always take the time. It's open 24 hours a day. I call from London. I call because Clip didn't pay me for whatever reason. I call them up and they explain it very well. They explain, they, they take the time to explain every single problem I run into. So their customer service is out of this world. It's it's it, it's unbelievable. It's better than it's better than the bank. So uh, they were very, very helpful, very friendly. Uh, I, I, you know, some of them, I, I, I kind of get to know their name, you know, because I call so often. And I'm like, oh, it's from Ohio again. You know, the call center in Ohio. I was like, hi, Tanisha, how's it going? And like, she's, she, you know, she, she probably had like a thousand people. They're like, I'll like, tell you one other thing, yeah. Tamir. Yeah. Charles Schwab pay their dividends before Robin Hood. I do know that. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I, I don't. I don't know enough about that because I only own one. You know, so. Oh, that's an accurate statement. Yeah, but you you know who you got to find out who's the processing center is. Like Fidelity, they process all their whole all their money internally, so as a result, they get paid pretty quickly. I think I think Charles Schwab is processing to another third party company like State Street or sometimes Fidelity, some other company is processing their money. And that's one of the delays. And that's what I kind of discovered. 
uh, a lot of the a lot of the money is it's go into the processing center and they have to process that whole day and then they give you the money the next day and uh, so that's that's what I kind of learned but that's not true for all funds but it seemed like that's what happening to all funds you know mm. does that make sense a little bit or yes it does um, well, I guess what my way of combating the delay is I'll just uh, increase my margin by the amount of the dividend that I'm expecting and use yeah. it to pay on the next dividend date and then when the money comes in from the dividend payment I just reduce my uh, margin account back down by that amount yeah I I I would say don't play with your margin until you have about fifty thousand dollars and then you can pay 20 percent twenty thousand dollars that's that's you know 25 would be half so you're playing about 45 percent of your money 20 or 40 percent of your money all right um and and it makes sense uh, i'm first of all uh i will i'm not shy away from margin i'm not shy away from taking loan on stuff like that a lot of people say i'm not playing margin i'm not touching margin and they, every time they look at my portfolio, they, they just see it yucky. Dude, if you want to know what being a be a landlord owner, own properties, I have like millions of dollars of debt. Millions. Not thousands, millions in debt. Because each of those homes I own is cost like two, three hundred to five hundred thousand dollars. Those are you just you just in debt. But in order to get rich, you have to be in debt. There's nothing you can do about that. And uh, so, so either you're going to be in debt or you're not, because you don't, unless you have a rich uncle somewhere, there's nobody going to give you money to use, you know? So you're going to have to borrow money to make money. And, and you're spending somebody else's money. And that's one thing I like about margin. I wish I, I, I wish I can log in right now and show you. I have $60,000 in my margin, all right? That sixty thousand dollars generated me two thousand dollars worth of interest, and I'm only paying five hundred, six hundred dollar bill. That's it, six hundred dollar interest. So I'm collecting the rest of the money. Every month I'm collecting that money, and every month it going back to the portfolio, and then my portfolio is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And any time that I need to sell and need to get rid of my margin, I just sell my portfolio, just sell it, and then that sixty thousand dollars gone, and I and I all that profit I made is in my portfolio so you're you're essentially living off somebody else's money until you know yeah that's why I'm not worried about it. like this is cool this is dude I wish they gave me more margin if they give me a million dollar I would use a million dollar well not a million I would use like you know 80% of that you know you gotta leave room for 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 the market to adjust so you can adjust to the market but I will use I will use all of it. Yeah, I only use ten percent of my margin, and I, I set a hard limit at that point. Yeah, whatever your number you're comfortable with. I'm comfortable at forty percent. That's that's what I use. I I, I ain't ready for that margin stuff yet. I, I'm. You don't need to, man. You're making thirty thousand dollars a month. Why would you mess around with margin? Hey, I'm comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One other piece of advice. I, I played with the option deal over the last two months and I decided that it ain't my pick. Uh, in my bit, it's, it's not a benefit to me. Just let Jay do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You Option trading is not. Uh, it's, it's tough. That's like, that's like people go to play roulette table. There's some people are really good, and there's some people just giving money away. And uh, it's like playing blackjack. Like, like I know how to play blackjack, and and then there's some people out there just sitting there and just all they do is just give money away. I'm like, dude, why do you why do you, you have you have a twenty? Why would you want to draw again? Draw another card. You have a twenty, or you have a nineteen. You you showing a nineteen, or you showing a twenty? Why would you need a draw? And then they're just giving money away. Or oh, when I see people do that and they sit to my right, I usually stop the table. I usually stop playing because they mess up my card. And the guy would say, hit me. And he was like, oh, let's say he started off with like, let's say he started with a 12. That makes sense. Let's go and hit. He hit. And then next, you know, he got a, 
a 17. And everybody was like, all right, just stay, man. Just stay. Don't need to hit. Of course, he hit. And that's the card I need. And he hit. And then and now he's at a 19. Let's say he got two. And I was like, all right, dude, that's 19. You just stop, man. And he's like, no, hit me some more. I want to get to 21. I'm like, dude. <laughs> yeah. I played, I, I, I played blackjack one, uh, twice yeah. with my wife. Yeah. We did real well the first time, didn't do so well the next time, and never played again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see people just give money away, man. They're just, they just so stupid sometimes. So I usually, when that happened, I walk away. I, I just leave the table. I don't, I, don't, I don't play in that table. I just go somewhere else. Because the, the, you don't want to play with people that ruin your card. Um, and that's why I like roulette. Roulette is just, man, it's just sit there and watch the dice roll, uh, the ball roll around the circle, and you land on your number. 35 block. Boom. Yeah, I got the odd. I got, you know, I got the high number. I got, I got the third column. Everything, you know, like, oh, that's my favorite, man. That's my favorite. Yeah. That's awesome, man. I can talk about gambling all day. I can talk about military all day, gambling all day, and uh, all right. Well, before I before I shut down here, uh, anybody want to talk about money real quickly here and make money and get rich? Uh, other than that, I I am ready to go night night. <laughs> well, I'm gonna run one thing by before you go. Yeah. My, my what my game plan is, I got by. What, about 15 grand i'm trying to hold out to see about these uh what the uh y max and, and y mag yeah i think what they de the declaration is on the 14th so i'm yeah. gonna hear what they what they're gonna pay out that's gonna determine whether or not i jump right in on them too or i just wait and pay on the x dividend date to get more shares um uh, what what is your question what what are you guys planning to do? Oh, I I'm gonna buy a majority. When, when I first start off, I buy before the X date. Now I only buy on the X date. Uh, uh -huh. Depend like Coney, I bought it all before the X date because Coney price was cheap, seventeen dollar, eighteen dollar. So I bought it. But uh, Y Max and Y Max, there's no rush. One, we don't know what the price is, so it's no rush. So uh, if you're just opening position. It's okay to buy in the X state. You're just opening up new position, uh, you, because you want to buy at the lowest point. Um, if we're suspecting this thing gonna drop like seventy cents, well, guess what? Whatever price right now is, uh, let's say wide max, uh, it's twenty nine three. It's gonna come down to like twenty dollars and twenty cents or something like that, you know. And yeah, that's when I buy it. You know, I, uh, I that's when I would buy it. Because unless you feel like you need this money now, uh, my thing is, what's the rush? This is a great fun. It's going to be around forever. It's going to be around for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's the one thing. One thing I'm trying to figure out. This is my only question: Which one of the two produced the most yield? Is it Y Max or Y Mag? M A G or M A X? And so, I kind of. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Right. I well, did a rough answer? estimate. And, yeah, I did a rough estimate like uh, Max did. Yeah. And I figured I'm probably wrong, but I met in my numbers. Y Mag is going to pay higher than Y Max, but I'm wrong. <laughs> well, here's here's my thing. Why why I don't like. Why Max as much? Number one, they have Apple on a, and and uh, Google. These are all low paying, low paying yield. Uh, AI was pretty low. Jep, uh, JP Morgan was pretty low. Uh, Coin only pay a dollar. Their their highest, I, I think, is AMD, Coin. I, don't, I forgot what matter was. It, it, I don't think they have a. They only have a couple of them that went over a dollar. The rest of them are yucky, yucky. Ooh, below forty percent. 
So my 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 suspect is that Y Max not gonna perform as well as Y Y M A G. Uh, and M A G got M A G got NVD. You know. Uh, oh no, not M not NV. I don't think they had Nvidia. I, I could I could be wrong. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, they got N Nvidia. They got NVD. They got Microsoft. These two are pretty high. But the Apple and Google, man, they suck so bad. I wish they'd put Coney in there. <laughs> yeah, but that's not the magnif magnificent seven. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> but but they other than that, I I don't know. We don't know. Uh, I, I, I don't even want to calculate it. Uh, you can calculate it, it's not that difficult. You, here's all the stocks, and find out what the percentage is, add them all together, and then let's come to the number. And then, um, yeah, you can calculate this pretty easily. But, uh, yeah, this is awesome. Uh, hey, first of all, I want to say thank you everyone for watching, uh, and I really appreciate it. I love, I love doing YouTube video, I love making videos. I love this community. I man, I I just I it's such a great hobby, you know, because you don't realize sometimes it's really stressful at work. I come home, all I want to do is eat dinner, and um, and I just want to hang out with you guys. I want to hang out and talk about money, making money. That make me feel good, man. People don't realize when I talk about money, making money, especially watching my portfolio grow, getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh my God, my heart is just so relief i just like i feel like all my problem go away like literally all my problem go away knowing that i have a backup plan i can quit anytime you know and that's just such a great feeling great feeling yep but it's always gonna feel good man because when you when you retire man you know like i say your chest just need to rise and fall every day yeah. On the first of the month, you're gonna get that VA check and that uh that that retired check. Yeah. 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 We're we're in a different category than the average civilian. So no, I appreciate it, man. All right, everyone. Hey, thank you all so much for watching. Um, you know, like I say again, you do not need to subscribe. If you want to subscribe to some YouTube channel, there's a whole bunch of other YouTube channels up there. Subscribe, make them famous, and help them and be part of the community. Uh, but you don't need to subscribe to me. You don't have to be a member. Uh, you don't have to give me money. There's no e-guide. Discord's free. Everything is free. I want you to make money. I want you to spend your money so you can make more money. You don't need to give it to me for any reason at all. Um, you know, and uh, Spanland, thanks you for uh, for asking me if I'm uh, for, for marriage. Uh, no, thank you, I appreciate it, but I uh, I'm already with a girl here, and uh, <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> well, you know, there's there's a famous book which I uh, I didn't I didn't get a chance to read or see the movie, but I saw in the library and I was looking. I took a picture with it, matter of fact. Um, it's called. It's called, um, oh shoot, I just blank out. It's uh, freaking A. Um, oh, it's, it's an Asian book. It's about this Asian girl, and she essentially, uh, like, to all the boys, to, to all the boys who I used to date, or something like that. I forgot what it was. Yeah, to, to all the boys who I used to date. And, uh, and and so the point of my, me telling this is to all the girls who I used to date, uh, I I never uh, you leave me. I didn't leave anybody, and because you <laughs> didn't believe in me, I I'm the only one who believed in myself. I believe in my I believe in my schooling. I believe in my life. I believe in my job. I believe in my career. Hey, if you stay with me, uh, you know it would it would have been a different life. It would have would have been a different journey we would have a different path, but you didn't stay with me. And uh, so that's, so there's nothing I can do about, I can't force you, can't control anything. So all I can do is control my life and my own destiny. But I knew that when I walk into a room, I am the best guy in that room. That's how confident I am. You know, no matter where I go, when I walk into a room, I am the best guy in the room. I, and if, I, if I'm not the best, 
I want to achieve that out. At least you can say, man, I try. I, I have achieved that level of uh, confidence or that level of, you know. And so if you, if you walk away, that's that's all on you. So there you go. There's that's my little speech to all the all the all the girls that used to like me. <laughs> okay, with that, hey, appreciate it. Take care, everyone. See you all. All right, my man.